podcast. He wanted to be episode 64 for Nintendo yeah, 64, but yes, sir. this motherfucker episode 63, man. We got a special guest in the building. We got rapper. Can I call you a singer too? Yeah, bro. Rapper singer. Both, bro. Yeah, Nappy Devi, dog. You know, Bob, nice to meet you Nappy Devi. <laughs> no, he said, what do you say? What's that? Do you Nappy? Duvet. Duvet, <laughs> bro. Nappy Duvet, nigga. You got to say it like Nappy Duvet. <laughs> duvet. Got a motherfucker get the 50 cent mouth going on you Duvet. Feel me, bro? Like, that motherfucker barely open and shit, dog. I feel like, nigga, the words I speak cost money. You feel me? Nappy Duvet, nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Hell yeah, dog. Nigga. We got the homie here, man. Hey. Uh, my first time really um, peeping you, dog, was mm-hmm. um, you did the uh, Pass the Ox thing. Yep. The little, yeah, I think it was like a uh, one song thing or whatever. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And I peeped down. I won that bitch, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> check, the, check the music out. Like, dog, my man's dope. Man, I think your, um, I don't know who he was to you, if he was your manager or mm-hmm. somebody you work with. He reached out to me first, Terry. but yeah. Yep. And I'm like, man, all right, he reached out to bro, dog. Man, so, yeah, <laughs> that's I, was saying. I was like, man, he because he, he uh, tapped in with me too. He was like, oh, yeah, it was a podcast uh, um, that, um, you know, that you was inter- that you should like check out. Yeah. But, and then he also mentioned um, the fucking, not, nah, I'm sorry, not Terry, but I, uh, I, I was there when Troy oh, yeah, yeah, did yeah, his yeah, shit. I was, yeah. like, I was, bro, I was around, bro. Yeah, I was just yeah, chilling. Yeah, yeah. So I already kind of seen, like, the maneuver. I already you know knew what the podcast on. shit going you, on. You was there, though. You mm-hmm. was like, I, I seen this. I, I was outside. Like, <laughs> I seen. I was there, bro. I told, look, bro, I be in the cut, bro. Be, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a connecting ass nigga, bro. Yeah. I be networking, bro. I be out here. For sure. Got for to, real, got bro. to, man. But shit, man, before we start getting into the interview, for sure, we always start off with a salute me while I'm here. Mm-hmm. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away, okay. give them their flowers and shit, instead of doing it while they can still smell them. Right. So, but the only thing about it, you can't do what everybody do. You can't do mom, dad, okay. brother, sister, or if you got kids. Okay. So it got to be outside of that, man. So if you got somebody, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and give them a shout out. That I want to salute while I'm still here? Why they still here? Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> you said it can't be my fam? It can't be like that That mom, dad, brother, sister. Like the ones you see on the daily. Okay. Um, shit. <laughs> That's a good one, bro. Man. Um, I, I Salute. Just... My art teacher, bro. My man <laughs> tried to check me on Facebook about Egyptians, and I was like, oh, shit, bro. You got me fucked up. So <laughs> I went in and tapped in with him, and, you know, I told him about himself, like, bro, don't try to school me on art, you know, on, yeah. on black Egyptianism culture, because yeah. it was it was a whole little... But, you know, shout out to that nigga, bro, because I, <laughs> I got to check one of my teachers, you know, so that was kind of cool. You know, salute, bro. Yeah. You know, I appreciate you for... Keep replying, you know what I mean? Yeah. We was going back and forth. I'm, Duh, like, on what? I'm like, on Facebook. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you ain't telling me nothing that I don't already know, bro. Duh. He was like, I was agreeing with you. I'm like, nah, bro, you shouldn't even <laughs> came under my post, bro. Duh. Like, you wasn't invited, my nigga. <laughs> but, but you know, disrespect to that nigga. You that's know, the I first, ain't gonna say his name. That's the that's the first uh, salute this ever done. <laughs> it was like cool though. It was it was kind of entertaining yeah. for my day. So it yeah. wasn't I wasn't dissing him, yeah. but I was. You feel me? <laughs> shout out to him. So since man, I ain't had nobody. To just shout out until you said teachers, dog. So you I'm gonna shout out my old teacher, dog. You feel me? My uh Miss Hope, dog. Miss Hope. Miss Hope. Her yeah. last name, bro. Yeah. For real. Miss she Hope. got that last name for DP- DPS schools for real, dog. Miss Hope, bro. Yeah. She wanted niggas to believe. <laughs> she like So dog, Miss Hope. Not her last name, bro. <laughs> yeah, and Miss Hope, dog. Tanya Hope, dog. Tanya Hope. Yes, my first for grade real? teacher at Bustle, dog. Right. And okay. uh that was my first time having a crush on the teacher, dog. Oh damn. I gave her a Valentine's Miss Hope every year from first grade to sixth grade. He hope you hearing this, Miss Hope. No, she she got older. She look older too. <laughs> I looked up on Facebook yeah years ago. Like, dang, bro. But she she look too old to be uh, having a crush on that. But Man. back then she was probably about like thirty six. Thirty six. God, oh. I tell you real quick before I get first to your first grade, bro. First grade, dog. Oh, wow. I knew I got like we were talking about this last night, dog. Like okay. I knew. At like four or five, like chicks was the shit. Mm-hmm. Like I'm like, it, I, it was never no question in my shit, dog. Mm-hmm. I always love women. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember Dominique downstairs. We used to always hug in the closet oh and shit, God. dog. Oh, you one of them kids, bro. You was bad as hell, <laughs> dog. But Miss Hope, dog. Real quick story, dog. Real, real quick. I, my heart was broke, dog. Cause I saw her kiss Will. Will was the janitor. What? So I saw her. <laughs> yeah, I saw her kiss Will, and I'm like, damn, Miss Hope. So I knew, <laughs> I knew I had no chance, dog. Like, wow, like bro. fuck, man. She like janitors, my nigga. Hell this, yeah. this ain't for you, bro. Shout you, out to my nigga. you do podcasts, bro. Yeah. She, she like janitors, bro. It just ain't the move. I get it, bro. Shout, shout out to Miss Hope. I would have been broken out too. Shout out to Will, dog. Shout, shout out to Will. Hope bro. y'all, hope y'all doing good, man. man. <laughs> but uh, man, before we get to music, man, we always want to touch. Touch with you know what I'm saying how it was growing up. Mm-hmm. So just give me uh, where you from, East Side, West Side. Who East was, Side. Who, who was East in the household? Side. Like tell me about tell me about that man. Um, 
I'm sorry, I'm over here smoking. They said I could smoke, oh, y'all. Yeah, hell yeah. So I'm a spark this bitch. That's hell what the yeah, fuck. Nah, shit. but um, um, I'm from the east side, born and raised. You know okay. what I'm saying? Um, not too far from here, bro. Like yeah. literally, I um, I I was one of the kids that jumped from school to school, so I moved all over, bro. Yeah. Like. It was just me and my mom, Dukes, and my brother. And a lot of time, my, my family, my cousins, aunties and shit would probably move in. Yeah. Or we got to stay at grandma's. Niggas didn't have a structured childhood Oh, yeah, niggas up. shit. A lot of motherfuckers know. Niggas shit Hell was yeah. kind of all over the place. Like, I was east and west, really. But I you know, grew up, born yeah. and raised on the east side. For sure. Um, literally right around the corner on Barlow. Um, yeah. I graduated um, from East Detroit. Okay. On, uh, that's over there on, like... Nine and grad shirt. Yeah, yeah. Um, I moved out to East Point when I was sixteen. My grandma, <clears throat> a couple of us did, cause situations yeah. at the crib. Hell yeah. Parents not able to keep up with shit. Yeah, for sure. So I graduated from East Detroit, but I graduated uh, middle school from Brenda Scott. Okay. Elementary from Von Steuben. And they yeah. call Von Steuben no more. They yeah. call that bitch. Uh, they call that bitch something point like. But Von Steuben is right behind Brenda Scott, okay, in between yeah. Fleming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hell yeah! So you say you uh graduated from East Detroit? That motherfucker niggas thought uh, East Point was the hood, was the suburbs, not up. It's the that hood. That is the hood, bro. It's the hood. <laughs> that is the hood for sure. When I went over there, nigga, it was like it was you know it was uh, biracial shit. It was like black white. Yeah. Um, you had a couple uh, uh Asian people here and there, but it was yeah. like it was a lot of cultural differences and yeah, shit. Yeah. But. Now, nigga, that yeah, motherfucker on, like, fight school. That bitch <laughs> got her own page for fights, bro. Duh. I'm like, what happened, bro? I graduated the right year. I mean, oh, yeah, bro. That shit, motherfucking hood is here. It is hood. I mean, but it's it kind of like, it reminds you of home. Like, yeah. it's, it's still DPS to me. Hell Even yeah. Though, just because it's a, a, up the street, that shit's still DPS, bro. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So you said you moved around a lot. Did that, like, did that fuck with you? Like, yeah. like, like, damn, I can't, like, we, we can't settle because, nigga, oh. I... I ain't had probably about my whole life, including my childhood. Okay. No, we straight. Okay. I'm straight. Okay. Okay. Well, I had probably about forty some different addresses, dog. Yeah. Like so, um, I know how it is to move on and be on the fly. Like, they ever fuck with you? Like, you be yeah. like, most definitely fuck with me. Um, cause I I, I had too many friends. Like yeah. I knew I like. I couldn't keep friends because I go to one school for one school year, yeah. got cool motherfuckers, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. Like, I don't know y'all niggas no more. Yeah. And I ain't for gonna sure. never see y'all niggas again. It was cool knowing y'all niggas. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of cool, and then it'd be weird when you be like, now nah, we got social media and shit, yeah. and it's like, oh shit, do this nigga, do I know this motherfucker, yeah. bro? Yeah, for like, sure. this motherfucker look familiar. She look familiar as fuck. Yeah. But don't know where you know these motherfuckers from, and see that all y'all went to Osborne. It was like, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah. But, yeah. but, um... I mean, it's cool. Um, it's it's cool to kind of adventure. I would say that yeah. I call it adventure because I'm moving to different hoods and shit, yeah, yeah. hearing different gang signs, hearing different bullets. You still know, get shot in the air. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. Detroit. For sure. and I'm like, damn, bro, that was a nine. Uh, yeah. Yesterday it was a <laughs> it was a Mac. Like, Hell yeah, no. You know? no, I'm talking shit, bro. I'm talking shit. No, but um, that was a joke. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> you know, represent the city, man. No, we ain't that lethal out here. We no, we not. We not. We okay. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Just, you just gotta know where. We have our moments, though. Yeah, but you gotta know where to be and where not to be. Exactly, bro. You know what I'm saying? We just talking about that shit because uh, shout out to Tone Tone. He got the Tony Ireland. I just seen that. I saw that. Yeah, but you know that shit on Warren Dickinson. That's the hood. All right. So we, I'm gonna support, but like he said, I'm gonna go cheese, about cheese fries. Gonna go crazy though. I'm telling <laughs> you. I swear I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make sure I go about one o'clock, like mm-hmm. in the afternoon. Nigga. <laughs> in the afternoon for sure. Because one thing, niggas at work. Yeah. yeah. Oh, everybody at work. All right. Hey, let me get that motherfucking chili cheese fries. Right. Coney dog, nigga. Like, yeah. Cause dog, you Is got twenty four hour. It's about to be. Cause he said. <laughs> <laughs> they about to be selling weed through the window, <laughs> nigga. They about to be. That, that motherfucker about to be hot, bro. Duh, you that know it's gonna be popping. Yeah, it's gonna I be swear. definitely popping. Hopefully they don't. Oh, yeah, they don't fuck this shit up, dog. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they keep that shit because they always say like black niggas don't support the city, but when we do, we don't fuck this shit up, yeah, dog. Yeah, I know really do hope he keep it all level and to keep it like rising, open another one, shit. Hell yeah, get somebody hell yeah. else hip to the uh, to the entrepreneurship of like what's going on. Hell yeah, a lot of us need that shit, bro. We need uh, black businesses in our communities and shit. Hell yeah, like what? Don't we got like a couple of them over there on Living Noise and something? Oh yeah, yep, yep. Hell like yeah, we just talking about that shit. Yeah, yeah that, that's that whole little strip. I just fit, found that out, bro. This shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even like my twenty four years of living in. Fucking in Detroit, I just found out yeah. that that was like a black owned kind of neighborhood. Hell I'm yeah. mad that I just found that. Only reason I know because my uh, my uh, my wife, her uh, grandma, stay right over there. Mm-hmm. So I seen that shit, and that's when you say you was over there. You know, saying shout out to my nigga Diddy and shit. Mm-hmm. You know, saying Deshaun mm-hmm. when you was at the little shit, his yeah. birthday shit. Yeah, yeah, that whole little area, dog. It's, it's pretty dope. It's pretty nice. The parking yeah. kind of fucked up, but it's cool. Yeah, the parking shit is <laughs> fuck. I know Hell because yeah. I DoorDash. Like I quit my job to DoorDash and shit, yeah. but I don't even do that no more. Now I just do the music shit, like yeah. like 100. Um, yeah. But 
um, uh, I was door dashing and shit, and I used to get orders over there. Bro, I can't park nowhere. Dude. I gotta <laughs> park on the side of the street. Hell yeah, hoping you don't get, hope, hoping you don't get no ticket. Bro, and shit. I low key be like finessing niggas parking spots and be like waiting on motherfuckers to pull off. Like, <laughs> be like right behind boy. Like I know he about to pull <laughs> off, bro. Yeah. I see that nigga turn his lights on. He about to go. Hell hey, so yeah! Like, and shout out to Cuzzos over there. They got the sweetest mm-hmm. coolie ever taste in my life. I'm mad because. <laughs> I still haven't been to Cuzzo, bro. Damn, you haven't? Never. No, I Not once, bro. I'm Duh. pissed off. I, bro, when I was like 14, my cousin and them used to stay over there in them nice-ass neighborhoods. Yeah. So I know, because my cousin will put me hip to the uh, the uh, red velvet waffles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With yep, the yep. Uh, chicken. Yeah, yeah, Bro, yeah. I'm like, they got red velvet waffles, bro. <laughs> That's when I knew yep. that I needed to go, and I still ain't yeah. been. Just don't get the Kool-Aid, dog. No matter how the much. Kool-Aid was good, too. Oh, no. I, I had to, man. No matter how much ice and water you put in that bitch, it's going to be sweet, dog. <sighs> Everything else is A1, but get That's some water. like it's more sugar than Kool-Aid. Hell yeah, like, get, get water, dog. Get you a waffle and some chicken and water. Mm. Like, you want Kool-Aid? Like, no, I'm good. I don't want to die. Hey, Kool-Aid probably bang, though. I'm one of those Niggas, bro, I fuck with the sweet Kool Aid. Hell yeah! Just don't make it too sweet, bro. Put some lemons in that shit. <laughs> like no. I like the people who put like add extra shit to their Kool Aid. Be having like fruits and vegetables in that bitch. I'm <laughs> like, did this bitch <laughs> put? Did this bitch put uh, the, celery in the Kool Aid? This shit healthy as hell. Bro, come on, bro. Nigga got some healthy sweet Kool Aid. Bro, dog. cucumbers in that bitch, bro. This Kool Aid. This nigga trying to take that bitch to tropical smoothie and shit, nigga, dog. Let me get that tropical smoothie Kool Aid, bro. <laughs> hey, they need to. Hey, black people be all through that bitch. Duh. They won't even be happy with they putting Kool Aid on that. No, you silly. Cause all they gonna see is. Niggas through the motherfucking uh, door. They ain't gonna be, a, uh, now, be happy about that shit. Now you was talking about how like uh, you know, saying you grew up with your mom and your brother. Mm-hmm. Was pops around? Like y'all got a relationship? Me and my pops cool now. Yeah. Uh, I moved with my dad um for a year. Probably yeah. nah. Probably some change. It was like seven months. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My dad stay in Florida now. He from okay. the city too, born and raised, but he stay out in uh, Florida. And for I moved sure. with him for like a second. Um, yeah. We cool now. He he eh, he yeah. he popped up around thirteen. Yeah. And I was like. I think I was 13, bro. It was either 13 or 8. I yeah. don't exactly remember, but I know I was old enough to know that was my dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I look like that nigga. Yeah. I'm like, this some <laughs> bullshit. No, so. I look exactly like that nigga. No, no dis- disrespect to my pops, but... All my pops' kids got big foreheads. Yeah. So if a new kid pop up, me and my sister was like, if that bitch ain't got a big forehead, <laughs> yeah, no. it ain't, yeah, we that, ain't claiming her. That's me. the motherfucking, that's She that, can't that's be a sound. part of the squad, bro. Because he, we all inherited that nigga forehead. Now, Duh. if my kids get the curse, it's going to be fucked up. But yeah. it is what it is. Hell know? yeah, nigga shit. Hey, we, we, gotta take that. we got some heads in our family, boy. We got, mm-hmm. some, we got some domes. That's why I'm glad I grew my hair out, because that shit go cover it. I ain't that's how my son, my son got the dreads. That nigga I he Man. got he got my he got my hook and he got mama forehead. Oh yeah, so he yep. just he just hurt. This is my first time growing my hair though. I never grew my hair out, so I was the nigga who had the chili bowl. Mama used to cut my shit. I was mad as hell, bro, because it was like, ma, you gotta stop cutting my hair, bro. I wanna go to the barber shop. I ain't start getting like my hair cut by the shop till I was like in sixth grade, bro. No, so I'm like eleven. Same here, same here. I'm though. eleven years old. Why am I just now getting a lineup, mom? What the fuck is going on, B? No, same like, here, same that's here. That's crazy to me. Like same here. My mama, she was on some extra, extra, but no. you gotta love her though. She was being cheap. She like, oh no, I ain't. About to pay ten dollars for both of y'all to get y'all shit cut. Hell yeah. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Duh, my, shit, day, my shit look like a nigga just slapped the bowl on my shit. Bam, bro, you man. feel nigga me? Nigga outline that motherfucker, bro. Dog. Back in the day, ten dollars was a lot. And then if you got that chili bowl, you go go to school and them niggas smacking your mm-hmm. shit, dog. Like nigga. That's why I hated DPS. I, and I had chili bowl with the ponytail. Y'all niggas was disrespectful, bro. Duh. I rap now, bro. <laughs> Try me. Try me, bro. No, I had chili bowl with, with, with the motherfucking like, ponytail uh, in the back, dog. <laughs> so niggas be calling me chili bowl with the ponytail, nigga. Bro. Like, duh, that I shit. never had hair, so I'm like kind of mad. So now I got hair, it's different because I got to take care of it. So you never had like the braids? Or, no, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Never had hair. So it's like my whole life, the most hair I ever had was the high top. Yeah. I had the high top for a second. For sure. Cut that bitch off. I had that bitch in like high school, yeah. 10th grade. <laughs> Cut that bitch off. Then yeah. I start letting my fro grow and shit. I'm like, okay, the fro cool, but that shit was just too nappy. So yeah. I'm like, man, and I was at one point didn't even believe I could grow my hair. So I'm like, bro, this shit just ain't working. But I I started like coiling it and that shit started growing. So I'm like, all right, bet. Yeah, now, yeah. now I got dreads. This is what the fuck. Hey man, man. blessings to your dreads, man. I wish I can grow hair, man. Bro, it's possible. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is oh, no, it's ball a, to yeah, the it's ball. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's I'm not sorry. possible though. I'm sorry. I, unless bro. I got the motherfucker of Uncle Phil. Yeah, I ain't going about to fill it out, dog. Man, bro. I mean, nowadays, motherfuckers, you see these YouTube. Videos, these niggas out here getting whole <laughs> hairlines, bro. Whole no, motherfucking man. dudes, bro. That shit is no, wild. I just rather go ahead and just wild, let's, let's look at my old pictures and, and remember. And reminisce, bro. Yeah. That's sad, bro. I ain't about to go. <laughs> I ain't about to throw no wig on like, my like, head, bro. Looking like I them. had. I had some like I had some good waves, I though. though. I feel it, though. I feel it, though.
I was like, why are these niggas wearing these niggas' heads are swollen? Like, <laughs> like, bro, you see, bro, you can see the print on these niggas' foreheads. I'm like, bro, that do rag was too tight. You was wearing that bitch all summer, bro. Duh. That, bro, that was me. Niggas' I, brain my, cells my, my, are my shit, gone. Bro. My shit was so tight. My barber like, duh, I can't even blend your back right, duh. Man, cause I just motherfucker got embedded print in my shit, duh. I'm it won't saying, go away, bro. duh. I'm just saying. God damn, wild. niggas wearing good fits with a do rag, bro. I swear to God, I went matching with the do rag though. Duh, I went to a job interview with do rag on. Squeezing head out of his head. I went to a job interview with do rag on, dog. And for Champ Sports, I went to an interview with a fucking do rag on because I need a haircut. What happened? And I, I thought I was gonna get a job. Like I don't know why I thought I was gonna get that job. I'm 17. And they got do rag. Like man, I had good interview, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right. Them motherfuckers did not call me back, mm -hmm. dog. Man, they, so man, they lost no number, bro. Hell yeah, they threw that motherfucker. Your whole dog. application went out the door. They probably, they probably just, they, they probably <laughs> took a picture of everything low key. Bro. Like this nigga had a do rag on. The they first was nigga talk about you when you left, bro. You hell know yeah. the white people doing them office jobs. Hell yeah, they was making them jokes. Boy. Like look at this black dude. Did he really? Did he yeah. really now? Do rag ass nigga. <laughs> dog, now we go, to, to get back on your music though. Okay, okay. Like you, bro. <laughs> I can show Duh. Smoke. When um you, you usually get your musical influences from your uh from your from your household. So who Word. was motherfuckers you was listening to based off what your mom was playing? Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Yeah. That's my mom's favorite album. Yeah. Uh a lot of uh Retha. Yeah. Shaka Khan. Um Stevie. You know Stevie. Hell uh, yeah, for sure. Erica. A lot of old school cats. Mom yeah. would play a lot of old school music, shit that I Still play, yeah. Every yeah, yeah. Earth went and fire. Yeah, Come everybody on, do a verse now. about too. The legends for real. Yeah, well, against uh, uh, Howard Isley. Me, uh, Howard Isley. That's a fucking basketball player. The Isley brothers. <laughs> See Howard Isley. He a hooper. That'll be shit. lit as fuck. Hell yeah, man. No, yeah, they gonna have that verse about hell yeah. Cause a lot of times we that's a, like, I good artists be those people who kind of adapt to the music back then and mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. You know, say so it can go, mm -hmm. and you can go touch on different genres and everything. Yep. yep. Because that's why I, I think Snoop Dogg is like the biggest artist ever. Yeah. Because that nigga still exists, in. bro. Yeah. He's still on our frequencies. He's still in the young nigga room. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He's and he still don't try to diss young, young niggas, though. At all. You know He's still what I'm saying? still there dapping on what up, though. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? He probably won't say that. I don't know what Snoop would say. But, you know, <laughs> he's saying something, bro. Yeah. Snoop, Snoop invited to the young cookout. You feel For me? Sure. He invited to the uh, album, uh, you know what I'm saying? Album release yeah. parties and shit. Now, when you got your own ear, though, like when you start, like, man, this, this music shit dope. Yeah. And you got to, you know what I'm saying, have your own. Concept of good music. Who was the artist you was listening to that you was fucking with? Middle school, high school. Middle school, high school. Damn, you took me back. Okay. Uh, that I was like, this shit dope. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, our future. Uh, Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. Even even after the Rihanna situation, bro. Hell yeah. Chris was still dropping some dope shit. Hell um, yeah. Hell yeah. Always. Who always. Who else? Um, I was in the Dope Boys. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, niggas, a uh, dog hoes, not just one, but, uh, <laughs> we still about that shit. but yeah, I was yeah. an outcast. But I was still listening to that shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, like yeah. Dope Boys was low key uh, hot, bro. Uh, a couple summers, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah. I remember we was young. I think uh, I don't know who drove past our block. I don't know who it was, but one of my friends shouted them out, and I, I still ain't know them at the time, like yeah. face wise. But I knew they yeah, music. Song, yeah, I knew yeah. they music and shit. Um, Hell yeah. But, uh, um, who else? Um, a lot of. Like Erica Badu, Music Soul Child. Oh yeah, um, Music Soul Child don't get the credit that he deserves. Bro, Music Soul Child, cold, bro. Duh. Um, Andre the Outcast. I was always an Outcast. Oh yeah, Outcast. The, uh, yeah, shout out to I, Lance for being a hater on Outcast, dog. Who, who, who's hating on Outcast? My dog was hating on Outcast, dog. My dog Lance. Oh uh, Lance, bro. <laughs> he got beef, bro. I don't even know you, bro. You duh. hating on Andre, man? Duh, duh. Andre is one of my favorites, bro. My yeah. Andre's. Like my top top yeah. three, bro. Like yeah. Andre is a goat, bro. His penmanship is retarded, bro. Yeah. Niggas is not fucking with Andre. Shit, and, and to stay on like you know, what I'm saying who you was liking back then. Mm -hmm. This could be current or in the past. Mm -hmm. What's a song or an album that you listen to and you could just be like, I remember a, this this particular time. Like this song or this album take you back to this day or this time. And every time you hear it, you you think about that time. The Michael Jackson Thriller album. Yeah. Um, when I was young. We used to uh, live on the west side on Wildermere, yeah. and niggas just play that shit all the time. My mom and me used to play that shit all the time. Yeah. I remember the album because of the album cover. We had the CD case or whatever. Yeah. That nigga was just in the white like that. <laughs> yeah. Bro, Mike was chilling, bro. So I'm like, yeah. all right. This nigga Mike just came from a slumber party. You feel me? Mike was chilling, bro. Yeah. I was like, ah, probably like eight, nine, ten, bro. I was really young. Yeah. And nigga used to dance to that shit like, yeah. faithfully through the night. I remember when I was like, I think it was like, I don't know. We was bad. We was bad kids, bro. We yeah. was the kids that are just, 
you know, ain't no grass on the yard because niggas running through that bitch too much, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, we was the kids. We were bad, bro. Like, yeah. I know we were bad because all the other kids on the neighborhood knew us yeah. for being bad, yeah, yeah. bro. Like, <laughs> like so oh, it was niggas like, some bad ass old niggas right there. It was, niggas just be out just late as fuck, just dancing in the middle of the street, dancing on the porch, just doing dumb shit. Yeah. Running around, knock, knock, uh, knock, knock, ding, oh, yeah. going ditch, yeah, we, fucking nigga. up niggas' uh, houses and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. It, I, I'm not like that no more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I was never really... Too active. Yeah. I was the one that was like, I ain't gonna go. I go every blue moon. I yeah. was the one that was like, I ain't trying to get in trouble, bro. Cause I was the oldest in my pack, yeah. in my, my my bunch of my mom under my mom. So I would get. I'm the one that's gonna get yeah, in trouble. Yeah, you gonna get fucked up for them and you. And, right. Yeah. So yeah. it was I, just nigga, like, trust me, I know that feeling. Nigga. It was just like, but we had older cousins too. Them niggas wasn't great influences. Y'all niggas didn't help. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's cool though. But we yeah. we had fun. You feel me? Like yeah, love yeah. y'all niggas. Hey but, man, that that yeah. motherfucking knock knock shit. That that used to be lit as fuck. We almost died, nigga. <laughs> I remember we um we it was a one way. What? I, I stay on Cooper between Warren and Forest. Mm -hmm. So if you going down Forest, you hitting that dead end, which is the barber shop. Mm -hmm. So nigga, cars coming. Out, we got eggs, a whole dozen eggs. Bah, throwing uh -huh, the bitch at cars. Bro. So one particular car threw that bitch, hit it. That motherfucker did three sixty. Turned around, nigga. We run through alley. Eight. She ran through alley after us, dog. Uh -huh. So my little brother too slow. So I throw this nigga. I'm like, dog, you high right here. <laughs> so we running, dog. I come back. I get the nigga. Old girl then came back and grabbed about 10 niggas, dog. We all got white tees, so he like, we hear him. Whoever got white tees, we fucking these niggas up. <laughs> now I go in that bitch, pull around. She wise jersey on, like, <laughs> take that shirt off. Nigga, I swear to God, for a week, them niggas kept coming through the block looking bro, for us, dog. We like 15, 16. Bro, these niggas, how old y'all niggas, bro? No, 15, 16. These bro, niggas grown. They about I, to I bet kill, they was grown as hell. Nigga, they about to kill us, dog. Man, why are the grown niggas be fucking with the kids, bro? You no. knew it wasn't kid shit. They threw eggs, bro. We ain't shoot at nobody. Like, you know what I'm saying? And my mom was mad. Like, they like, motherfucker, them, we eating these we eggs. No rocks, nigga. nothing. Hell yeah. Y'all had the big case, then y'all don't want that big ass. <laughs> Box case, I had a whole bunch of eggs in that bitch. Duh, That's why you did that. Just shit. lunching them all. He like, nigga, we got extra shit behind. Right. <laughs> nigga got cussed out for throwing eggs. Not that we gonna die, nigga, because I'm fucking up the motherfucking refrigerator. Like, nigga, hey, uh, you taking food out the crib to go ahead and uh, throw some fucking cards, you dumbass. Bro, see, you reminded me of the time when them niggas used to open the fire hydrants, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah that's good times. Bro, bro, they don't do that no more, bro. Like, that's I the, haven't seen a fire duh. hydrant open in years. That's bro. when you know it's the summertime, dog. Bro, it, but they don't even do that in the summer. Man, niggas don't like, be outside. Niggas don't be outside. Niggas, it, Unless you're doing some, some phones, bro. Unless you're doing some crazy shit, niggas don't unless be outside. Crazy shit. That's nigga, lit. We used to be outside, nigga. Niggas was light skin, like, you dark skin? Like, no, I'm light skin, nigga. Like, this bitch, I just be, I be outside. Bro, I get it back in the winter. You know what I mean? I'll be back, nigga. Be back I'm Wesley right now, but nigga, I'm motherfucking Chico at the bars, nigga, for real. <laughs> nigga, dark skin as hell, dog. Been outside every day. Bro. Even when it rained, you still in the porch like that. I can't wait till it start raining. Bro, right? Duh. Niggas just still be doing dumb shit in the rain. Hell yeah. Hey, to keep it on this shit, dog, before we get to your music, dog, mm -hmm. the first. CD you stole or purchased, or since you if you young like my man said the first one he burnt uh, he, he uh got off a line wire. I, no, I had a I had a CD. Um, I'm not that young. Damn. <laughs> no, the one I mean I'm young. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to take that away. Uh, yeah. but line wire you just brought that shit back. Damn, they used to be lit. Um, <laughs> but I had up. a CD. What my first ever CD that you remember that you purchased dog uh, or stole. Can I go both genres like R and B? Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Cause first ever CD was Eminem, Marshall Mathers LP. Yeah, when it comes to rap, that's the best one. I, uh, my stepdad had it and he gave it to me. He was like, "You starting to write poetry and shit?" And yeah. he was like, "You you you writing and shit?" Yeah. This to this white boy, he from the city. Yeah. So I'm like, "Hell yeah!" For sure. That was my first like uh, somebody handed to me. Yeah. And I think, and I was really really young, like kid but didn't know no better type mm -hmm. shit about the world yeah probably was chris brown first album okay that c breeze chris brown came up around the time where i was like young as hell like yeah. i was like eight nine ten when i nigga like yeah, probably yeah. like what's that song 12. that run it with that uh, Joel shit. Yeah. Yeah. so you know i was a fucking fan yeah. as, a, as a kid just watching what the fuck i was on tv for sure but then when i got older it, it got into like that rap shit yeah like because i started Musically, I started more into the R&B shit, like mm. dancing and shit, like Michael Jackson and shit. Michael yeah. Jackson was the first influence when it came to writing, when musically, mm -hmm. um, and got into the entertainment, performing and shit. Yeah. But once I got into like high school, elementary, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, middle school type shit, mm. eighth grade, met like certain people and like just went through more shit, yeah. caught up to life. I'm yeah, like, oh, yeah. bro. Hell Yeah. You got some shit to talk about. I got some shit to talk about. Hell yeah. So then that's when I kind of, you know, rammed into like <laughs> rapping and like Wiz was coming up and shit. Yeah, Big Wiz. Sean. Hell like yeah. it was just J. Cole. A lot of these artists were on like what, 2010 and shit like that? Hell yeah. Like, like 2010, 2009, all, all them niggas. They yeah. was all coming up and shit. So it was like, 
I had a lot of shit to like adapt to, like yeah. a lot of shit to um, help evolve the art yeah. to today. Hell yeah. The, um, but like, it's like that shit was major um, influences, like uh, musically. It's 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 go hand in hand. You can't have rap uh, hip hop without R and B. Hell no. So it's like. Man, you so when you, when you ask me, you're like, can I call you a singer? Like, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'll yeah. be singing for real. Yeah, because right, I didn't know it was going to be disrespect. Like, huh? No, nah, bro. Yeah. I, man, look. Like, I just harmonize. I'm cool, bro. You feel me? I'm cool, bro. I'm, man. I'm cool, yeah. bro. Now, after high school, when you graduated, dog, yeah. what, what was that like? Like, did you just, like, did you go to college? Did you just start pursuing Hell music? no. I went to college for a day. I went to WC3. <laughs> for a day. Nigga, for a day. Bro, I swear to God, bullshit you not. <laughs> I had the same English teacher, right? I had two English classes. Why the fuck do I got two English classes? They yeah. both had different names and shit. Yeah. But I'm like, bro, what? Like, yeah, okay. This- but this is this the problem, bro. I left the first class, you know, He and then the next class, he was like, he gave us like five minutes to go get our books, bro. Yeah. I leave out. Um, on my way back, I'm like, I ain't even go that far, bro. Mm-hmm. And on my way back, he made it back to his room, closed the door on my face, bro. Yeah. Like, nigga, you saw me walking <laughs> behind you, Duh, bro. Yeah. After that, I stopped going to school. I was like, man, fuck that. Like, Duh. I ain't about to deal with this on my first day, nigga. No, I was like, say one day. I was at or... WC3, bro. They gave me $700, and I was like, <laughs> my nigga, this, is, no. this is the best, you know. Hell, yeah. They gave it to me like a week or two, like probably a month after. Yeah. But it was like, that shit was cool, Hell, though. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. But um, uh, after school, I just like, Started working, bro. Yeah. Like, I was always working. I was uh, working at uh, Macomb. I used to sell newspapers and shit. Okay. Macomb Daily. Yeah. When I was young. I wasn't, like, a newspaper dude. I yeah. had to get people to sign up. Hold on, hold on. Was I it, was knocking on niggas' was doors. Was it a nigga in, this, in, like, a blue van? It was a white van. We had a white van. He was, like, an old, older a black old, dude with glasses. Oh, I, I, know the, I know the dude you talking about. <laughs> he was, he was like, <laughs> we was all on the same, you know what I'm saying? Duh, I but he was, we was beefing with them. That was the other truck. <laughs> That was the one we gotta get more sales than them niggas, bro. Yeah, so we can get this. We gotta have a pizza party, y'all niggas get more sales. Shit like that. Yeah, we, bro, I know exactly what you talking about. That was bro. my first job, nigga. Hey, you talking about a day? One day, I cried, dog. Bro, no, see, see, I cried in the corner because my nigga, he, I, he was having us knocking on doors. He would drop us off in the neighborhood. We knocked right by door. Bro, I'm getting cussed out. I'm like, man, I just wanna go home. Bro, we, bro, but look, I, I was trash like probably like the first two weeks, <laughs> but then I got better at that shit. My nigga Josh put me hit, bro. He was like, bro, you gotta get these motherfuckers a sob story. We in these white neighborhoods, bro. You can't just go on their porch. And yeah. think that they gonna just fall for that shit. Tell them you going to school. Yeah. Tell them you doing this. Duh, Let them know the whole hell. spill. Yeah. And nigga, then you go get it. And yeah. I'm like, all right. He like, look, well, watch me. He like, he he taking me on the porch yeah. with him. Like, excuse me, sir. Can I? And I'm like, this nigga. Duh. Okay, <laughs> okay. He hip. He hip. So uh, once he put me hip, it was easy to sell that to that. That shit. So funny it was easy hell. to do it. Like, okay, you had your bad moments. You had a, the bad bad moments when them niggas like get off my porch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. But then you you know keep that pushing. You know, hell okay, yeah. let me let me. Zoom them off real quick Man. I ain't trying to get shot You know what I'm saying <laughs> I'm trying to make some money Hell yeah And so it was like cool But to get them To buy the newspaper yeah. That was more so like Cause they had to sign up They had to sign up For like a monthly thing Yeah Hell and yeah That hell shit yeah. was like That shit funny as it hell was, It was we had a whole like a whole saying, bro. Like, we made it up, bro. We like had it back <laughs> our head. We recited that shit. Was Duh. ready, bro. Duh. It was bringing them, getting them niggas to sit, buy that shit, Duh. bro. I didn't God. last, nigga. My shit was one day. I would cry like I would go I was, home. I was doing that shit for about we, whole summer, bro. We had no cell phone. I remember one of the ladies I knocked on the door. I'm like, can I use your phone? Call my mom. Oh. I'm, I'm like, mom, come get me, man. <laughs> I quit. And then, and then it made me, it made me mad because my uh, boss Jeff at the time he was like, we can't get tips, and I'm like. Okay, yeah. I'm still about so, to get the motherfucker. So it was like, my, uh, my nigga Josh was like, you know, don't, 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 don't say shit. Yeah, just get the motherfucker tip. Just snatch them bitch real quick. Hell so, yeah. This I nigga think Wamba be hip, though. That nigga said, I don't know, I was with the white van. We were beefing with y'all niggas in the But booth. we was, bro. Dog. I mean, it was this old <laughs> black dude with glasses, dog. He had had the flyers up at the gas stations and shit. Bro. And you would go ahead and call. Bro. Nigga, you come in the van on some creepy shit, too. Because it was like, oh, it was like a whole bunch of kids in that bitch, bro. Yeah, yeah. I already know, bro. He going from block to block. It was some creepy shit. Like, but it was motherfucker. But we wasn't doing no. Like, it was yeah, legit though. Like, but thinking back on that nigga, nigga, it, it that looked, shit was crazy. It looked dog. a little, a little sketch. That yeah. shit was crazy. So when did when did music play play a part in your in your life as far as like want to pursue it as a as a motherfucking profession, dog? Shit, right after high school. Right. So in high school, you wasn't that little nigga writing and nothing like no, that. No, no, like, no, 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 no. Okay, like a profession. I, 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 so you saying after high school is when you took that shit serious? When then? I took it serious. Okay. But I okay, I started writing. 
poetry around like 11 years old. Okay. Just dealing with like trauma and shit at the crib. So I'm like, all right, let me figure some shit out. Way yeah. to cope. So yeah. I started writing and shit. So poetry was like the outlet that started the shit. And mm -hmm. then once I got into like fifth grade, 15, like, not fifth grade. Yeah. 15, I was probably like 10th grade. Yeah. My auntie, uh, she started a youth group. Uh, her name's Sharia. Shout out to her. Okay. It was Divine Purpose Youth. Mm -hmm. And we was just some young niggas out here like, uh, dancing and performing and shit. Yeah. So I was 15 years old doing that. I was performing that Bell Out a couple times at the Youth Day shit. Yeah. Like when I was young. So that was like, I was in like fucking Detroit newspaper and everything. Somebody pulled up on me and was asked me, like, oh, how you, yeah. how do you feel? What is Youth Day to you? Like, I remember my name being in that shit. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what got me encouraged to start performing. Yeah. Gave me the influence to like, Oh yeah, you can do this shit by yourself. You can do this shit at this age. Yeah, yeah, and you're doing this with your cousins and shit. Your auntie just making this up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? She she had her vision. She made that shit happen. So yeah. and she got us involved at a young age, and so. that kind of branched it. So as I got into like you know 11, 12, that's when I was like you know more uh, confident. I've always been a writer. <laughs> like um, I said, the poetry started it, but like I know I don't necessarily remember when I got into rap rap. Yeah. Like I know I've been rapping because yeah. I knew I. You know what I'm saying? Once you figure out you can write poems, then you can rap. Yeah, like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you can put yeah. words together. For sure. But and then once you know you can tell stories, like put it into like a a, a, a cinematic Format, form yeah. that make people make people think. Like damn, yeah. bro, Hell that yeah. shit gonna be in my head. Because yeah. one thing I realize about artists nowadays, a lot of niggas can rap, but a lot of niggas can't make songs. Oh yeah. You know what Hell I'm saying? Yeah. Hell yeah. Like a lot of niggas can rap, but a lot of niggas can't make songs. Yeah. A lot of niggas can't make some shit that you gonna be like, I can hear this 50 years from now and still feel good. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. That's that is so, different though. Cause yeah, I think about somebody like the game. Mm -hmm. That's why he needed so much help from 50 because he he could rap, but he didn't know how to structure songs. You know make songs. So at first, the game album was basically nigga. That was him and 50 a collab because 50 was doing the hooks. He was just rapping. He mm -hmm. even said himself that he didn't know how to like write hooks. He was just, just rapping. There's a lot he, of people. He didn't like know that. about bars like 16s, mm -hmm. all that shit. He just mm -hmm. nigga spitting. That's I like that shit through poems, my nigga. Yeah. Like, it's weird because like I, I had poetry class like 10th grade uh, when I was going to Northwestern. Yeah. That's, and my poetry teacher, she was my English teacher. She the one who told me about the formats and how metaphors just laid out and yeah. word schemes and shit. So it became like more easier to interpret that into my writing. So mm -hmm. it was like, oh shit. Damn, okay. Yeah, so yeah. now when it became like when it came to my lyricism, it was just like, oh yeah, bro, this one, two, one, two, five, yeah. five. It's, yeah, 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 it's yeah. kinda like a a, a, a a mathematic piece if you when you look at the rhyme scheme, because mm. you want to make sure it's um not so simple, but you also want to make sure it's not too much for the people to like lose. For sure. Yeah, lose hell yeah, content. hell yeah, that's important too, for real, yeah. for real. Cause you can lose some motherfuckers like I'm good, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I think since I don't sound like the the usual sound in the city yeah. I think that's another thing That kinda I appreciate about I guess my art Because yeah. I guess I never tried To fit in yeah. You know what I mean And just kinda Made Do my own way yeah. yeah And it and it, and it worked Like yeah. especially when it came To me going to showcases And open mics and shit A lot of people Got attached to that yeah. art And that music And the difference Of what I made and shit So it was like Oh shit So yeah. I, I can hear My sound now yeah. On and I ain't gonna say, but I, I can hear my sound <laughs> yeah. on other nigga shit. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear it, bro. So yeah. it's like, damn, bro. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Shout you, shout them out. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's cool. You now know what you mean? say like you never, you know. Of course, you, you don't sound like a Detroit rapper. Was right. it ever like an artist coming up that you might have studied or whatever? Because to me, when I hear your music, I get like some Trap, trap Call Quest vibes. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Some Q Tip and shit so, like that. Dog. Okay, Trap Call Quest. My uh friend group when I was in high school was called Last Trap. Yeah, and um. I, I around that time I didn't know much about Trap Call Quest. Yeah. I got more into Trap Call Quest right probably when I was like 18, 19. Yeah. Um so that's not even that long ago. But um Q tip, all of them, man, they some they like nasty. That whole New York scene yeah. back in the day. Yeah, where, yeah. Well the evolution of hip hop anyway yeah. from New York. That shit was crazy. You know, Cali got the the spotlight because you know they was on more on some more aggressive type of in your face shit. Mm -hmm. But New York is where it kind of originated from. That whole little vibe was dope. Um, yeah, hell that yeah. Whole, the come up. But um, uh, I ne watching necessarily. Mm -hmm. I want to say Chance the Rapper. Okay. Before Coloring Book. Yeah. Ten Day and uh, Acid Rap. Kendrick Lamar mm -hmm. and um, Isaiah Rashad. Oh, yeah. Isaiah Rashad is so fucking dope. And yeah, we waiting yeah. on the album, bro. If hell you yeah. ever see this, bro. <laughs> Hopefully you do, though. I hope you I do. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I don't know, my nigga. Album, man. Yeah. Where is that? That's how yeah. I just want to say that. But yeah. Kendrick Lamar, for sure, because when he was dropping, like, Rick and Mortis and shit, when he was doing his mixtape yeah. shit, and before it got, like, 
real big. Kendrick yeah. was like a goat, bro. Kendrick yeah, still remember he had that, uh, that one joint called Kendrick Lamar? Mm -hmm. I remember he was doing that uh, mistake. He was rapping on Lil Wayne beats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was being hip to uh, to Kendrick, dog. Yeah. Before, but my favorite uh, Kendrick album is the Pimp a Butterfly, dog. Yeah, bro. Come that on, shit. bro. We were just talking about this. That's that classic. is Kendrick's best album. It was dog. like, okay, it was like Good Kid, Mad City was like, I'm this kid with this talent yeah. from this neighborhood, and I'm trying to express that. Uh, to Pimp Butterfly was like, oh, I'm here now. Hell yeah. This is what I've been talking about. This is what we are going through. Bro. This is what y'all niggas need if, to know. If, if these walls could talk, though. Bro, come on, that man. That shit cold, His bro. whole, I mean, I think Kendrick's whole little detail within everything he do within his uh, albums and shit is yeah. inspiring because it makes you not want to come with some, like, I, I, I feel like I can't half-ass a project because of niggas like Kendrick yeah, Lamar. Yeah, yeah. Because of niggas like the Outcast. Because of niggas like M and shit like that. Like, yeah. people who can, who give me, a, like, a piece of work, bro, mm. it makes me want to work like yeah. it makes me want to be like hell oh yeah. hell yeah i can't psych off i can't yeah. get these niggas man ass him and cole gotta come out with an album dog cole i love cole but cole cole losing me in some degree why is that dog That's slightly my nigga, dog. cole my nigga though yeah. don't get me wrong cole my dog <laughs> but i think okay after force hill drive yeah. cole became i feel like he got like he knew that he was a shit, right? Yeah. So it felt like he didn't put no much effort in everything else. Yeah. No, so you wasn't no, really rocking with KOD? KOD was straight, but it wasn't no Force Hill Drive. No, it wasn't. It like, wasn't. Okay, because don't don't forget, before KOD, what it was For Your Eyes Only? Yeah, I ain't. And that one only had a couple. Yeah, yeah, that one yeah. only had like a couple bangers. You ain't about to play that whole thing. No, I want to fold clothes for you. Like, yeah. No yeah, disrespect to Cole. Yeah. No disrespect to Cole. You my dog. But I felt like he, I don't know. I felt yeah. like he just... He just kind of was like, shit, I got this money now. I can chill a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I can yeah. put out music, but didn't realize that we listening, bro. We yeah, paying attention. Yeah. We hear the the differences from your last year. We yeah. comparing, bro. We fans. So we like, bro, is the last year still banging? Yeah. More than sure. this new shit? And we yeah. like, yeah, nigga. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. might be right, dog, because KOD was like, it was okay. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah, it wasn't it was, like playback. Yeah. It was like, man, play that whole shit over. Yeah. Like, I can play the whole thing into Pimp Butterfly. Hell yeah. And I'm not trying to compare because I don't like to do that because they two different people. Yeah, for but sure. But when it comes to the artistry, <clears throat> Yeah. Hell yeah. Now, dog, explain how you get your name and what were some earlier names before you came up with uh, Nappy Devi. Oh, or, man. Uh, oh, uh, bro, you going to make fun of me, bro. Dubai. Come on, man. <laughs> no, wait. It was it was Dubois. Du it was the Dubois? Du 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 what was it, bro? Nappy Dubai. No, it was Dubois. It, it was the Nappy Dubois. <laughs> like, it was some shit like that, bro. I'm keeping that shit, bro. Hell I'm going to no. have to record it, bro. That shit getting copyrighted. Hell no. <laughs> so what was some early, Trademark, what was some early names and, and what, what made you stay with uh, uh, Nappy Devi? Um... Oh, fuck, bro, you're gonna take me back. Okay, I don't know what the. Okay, my brother reminded me that I had a rap name named Dell. Okay, I don't know how the fuck. I was like Dale? the computers, bro. Yeah. Like it was D E dot L L. I'm like, what the fuck? That's how I spelled it. It, it was uh, parts of my first name and parts of my last name. Okay, okay, okay. So it was like two letters in my last name, two letters in my first name, and yeah. that was trash. Yeah. And then it was. <laughs> why, why are you taking me back, bro? <laughs> and then it was. Um... <laughs> Duh. Devier, kill him, bro. De De who? My name is Devier. Oh, Devier, kill him. Kill him. Yeah. So I was like, that's, that's like a Moral Combat name. Yeah, Devier, kill like, him. That's not like I got bullied. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. I don't like that name like that. Yeah, like this nigga kill so everybody. I ain't keep that, bro. Right? You feel me? It's like this nigga about to kill everybody. So, um, no, nah, but um, and then I think uh, I just had a lot of weird ass names, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> why are you taking me back, bro? I know, cause I remember him, bro. So yeah. I, I don't want to. Remind myself of these trash ass names. Duh. Um, <laughs> Will of Fit. Will of Fit. <laughs> yeah. Duh. Like Will of Fit. <laughs> yeah. Just, I don't know, bro. <laughs> it was just weird as fuck. I, I just was coming up. You were trying to come up with the right shit. What's the right bro, shit, bro? Because I was just trying to be different. I was yeah. just trying to always just be different. Yeah. I just never wanted to fit in. So, so what in made you norm. stick with the with the Nappy Devi? Nappy Devi. Um. It's like a rap name too. Like, yeah, it, it does. It's, it it feel better. Yeah. You know what I mean? It feel. <laughs> no, yeah. but um, okay. As I said earlier, uh, my friend group in high school and shit, my squad, it's called Last Tribe. Yeah. But before that name, I was thinking like, oh, my bro, we should call it Nappy Roots. Yeah. And I'm like, then my nigga Trey was like, shout out to that nigga Trey. Shout out to uh, my nigga Trey. Bang, clothing line. You feel yeah. me? Okay. My nigga <laughs> Trey was like, <laughs> my nigga Trey was like, yo, uh, it's already a group called Nappy Roots. And I'm like, for real? Yeah. He looks like, yeah. yeah. I'm like, damn. Yeah. So... He like, but use the nappy. Keep yeah. it. He was like, use it as your ad libs or something. And yeah. I'm like, and that's what it first it started with. Yeah, yeah, at first yeah. it was just like, I was just like, hey, before I rap, I'm back nappy. Yeah. And I just go crazy real quick. It was like the starter of like my intro and shit. Okay. But then I was like, 
I'm gonna keep it, and I just put Nappy Debbie, I'm yeah. destroying my name. Hell yeah, yeah, shit. hell so, yeah. You like, should always tell this motherfucker. So it's like cultural too. So anybody look at me, they gonna know I'm a nigga. They gonna know I'm a black person. They hell know I'm yeah. a cultural nigga. So, but I also got swank. So you might, why not put a little nappy sauce on it? Because yeah. a lot of people try to downplay nappy hair. So it's like, but y'all want it. Hell yeah, so, so bad, badly, nigga. Bad, I mean, badly. I mean, that nigga say, Debbie, I will kill you if you don't listen to my music. Bro, you <laughs> so, at this point, hell no, that's yeah. what's up, dog. Preach. All right, see, man, we, we talking about, you know, names and shit like that, how you yeah. started, whatever, dog. Yeah. Give me your um your first time in the studio and how bad or good was it, dog? Because a lot of times, um, being in the studio is different from rapping in the bedroom. My first time being in the studio. My first time in the studio uh, with my friends it was, uh, I'm pretty sure we was high as fuck doing yeah, dumb shit. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it was just like probably not great. Yeah. Um, we, we, could we record a little high school project, yeah. little high school mixtape and shit mm -hmm. and call it Who Is Last Tribe? And it was just like some cool little shit. Yeah. We all had our own little verses on shit. Yeah. And then you had that one friend who trashed, bro. Oh, but and keep... then you like, bro, why we keep him on the song? He <laughs> ruined it, bro. That's just Everybody dumb. in school telling us, hey, my man, y'all niggas been crazy, but we cut it off soon as Joe <laughs> came on. I ain't gonna say his name because I ain't gonna do him like that. But my no. man was butt. He still, trying, he still rapping? I don't know what he doing, bro. bro I hope duh. he not, bro. I duh. heard he making beats, and that's yeah. what's up. Stick to Man, the beats, bro. That nigga say you do. We though. gotta start telling our friends that they can't rap, bro. No, you got to. Like you have stop doing this to our friends, bro. Yeah, you got These to, niggas though. are literally going to like American Idol and rapping <laughs> and shit. Like duh. why is niggas doing you this? You got bro? to niggas don't niggas don't keep it real because they be scared to hurt niggas' feelings. Duh. But bro, I mean, I would rather, bro. If you ain't gonna tell me it's a snake in the grass, I'm gonna get bit. Yeah. So why the fuck? Hell That's yeah. some trash shit. So who can who can keep it real with you? Like if, if it's something like dog, and I ain't, I ain't feeling it. Who 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 who, you, who do you take advice from? And know they not they not hating. They just really like really telling you the truth or something. Like mm. if, you, if if I get my son to this person, he gonna tell me if it's hot. If it's not like or you ain't got nobody like that. Like you just mm. I say fuck. Okay it, okay I ain't go I ain't go try to put myself on a scale. But did you say I don't drop trash? I don't drop trash. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. I, I, was to say, I, I ain't never asked somebody. Like, no, I ain't feeling that shit, bro. It never Even like, when I was young, bro. Like, like a lot, like shit. niggas, I like, die. I ain't feeling that. Ma ma I, don't, I don't think so, bro. Because yeah, yeah. it was. I mean, okay. Ah, uh, I feel like maybe when it went into like the R and B realm, when yeah. it, but that it was people I didn't know. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. not nobody in my circle. I ain't never had nobody that was like, "Bro, that shit trash." Because yeah, I, I ain't never. Say, I, ain't I don't go, think I ever put trash shit out. I ain't gonna scratch my back, but I'm scratching my back. I probably got like my <laughs> least favorite songs. Yeah, but I don't know. Nah. Hell yeah, Niggas for can sure. Check, check my roster. Hell yeah, hell yeah. No, no, di no, look, I ain't trying to be on my team. I ain't trying to be cocky, bro. I'm just saying, no, you bro. got. Yeah. I know my worth, bro. Hell yeah. So I be ready to battle niggas, bro. That's like why I be telling niggas <laughs> podcast, nigga. Hey, this the best podcast, nigga. Fuck fuck everything else, nigga. Bro, I'm the nigga you should be listening to. Yeah. I'm the one you need to. I need to buy my mixtapes. I'm, like, I'm, I'm talking shit. I'm talking so what? Uh, uh, speaking of studio, what's some shit that you need in studio, dog? You need weed. Yep. You need water. What you need? You need people. I need weed. I need. I don't need people. Yeah. Uh, people be in the way. Yeah. I need weed. I need water. Um, sometimes I don't need weed though, cause it might fuck up my voice. Yeah. It depends. All that I'm doing, like what what I'm, if I'm recording raps, I can smoke. But if I'm singing and shit, or harmonizing, or doing like some some chorus, some vibey shit, then I'd rather not smoke. Mm -hmm. But the the weed keep me floating. Like when I when I get high and I'm yeah. freestyling and shit, yeah. bro, my inspiration is just like the mo, like bro, the motive should just yeah. flow, be cold yeah. as hell. hell so yeah. I'm, I'm always if I'm high, some smooth ass shit gonna come out for sure. Like my best shit be shit I didn't record, be shit I didn't write down, yeah. be shit I just freestyle. So you, you so you do a little bit of both. You got the you got the you know what I'm saying the notes you be right or you, and you could just freestyle too. Yeah, I can freestyle. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm like like that's kind of like I remember. When Wayne was coming up and shit. Hell yeah. And that was like when I remember when niggas was saying like he he didn't write that shit. Yeah. So that gave nigga like inspiration. Like, man, man fuck that. I'm gonna <laughs> learn how to freestyle. Man. But I don't freestyle my songs. Yeah. I don't. Okay. But I can, you know, yeah. I like to. Like I, I like being like this is the thing I like I love hate about the new generation. You got some rappers that are for play the beat and sit there and rap with you, but yeah. you got some niggas that are sit there and just be like looking at you crazy because you freestyling. Yeah. Like, bro, this is music, bro. Hell this yeah. is rap. Like, what yeah. you talking about? Yeah, niggas sure. be looking lost, like <laughs> nervous to freestyle. Like, Hell bro, yeah. come on, bro. Why you invite bro to the to the session? Like, to the, <laughs> stop. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. yeah, I miss the old Wayne, dog. Man, so, I miss the old Lil Wayne, man. Yeah. New Lil Wayne. I mean, I love you, dog. He's still my top five, but. Uh, I mean, I, his Wayne music. look crazy, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna do Wayne like that, but Wayne look like oh, he, he sell crazy. Lucy's, bro. Yeah, yeah, great. Wayne look at terrible, the corner though. Wayne yeah. look like he will sell you a pack of Lucy's yeah, within man. a minute, bro. At the car three, bro. At like... that liquor store on Waltham. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? <laughs> no, hell yeah. 
yeah. What can you talk about? And be the crispy. Yeah, no, <laughs> be the one that be like he he got the good Lucy's man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That doing? motherfucking man. He, oh, oh Lucy don't be wet. Lucy selling Wayne. Don't be dry. Though. Nothing. That nigga say they selling Lucy's. Ain't curled Lucy's. up. Nothing. Niggas be buying Lucy's like a motherfucker. That shit funny. Still my nigga though. Hell yeah. He probably still do sell them bitches. Like he got money, bro. He can just do anything though. Hell yeah, man. I heard fucking Andre is what in New York playing his flute, walking around. Yeah, 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 man. Niggas be on that shit. Once you get that money, you get to that age. You do whatever, nigga. Right, bro. Do it the fuck ever. Bro. Now, uh, 2020, you put out 7 Eleven, dog. Yes, sir. And it's funny as fuck. I was telling my uh, producer, man, that nigga, once I got here, I've been listening to it for the last two weeks, whatever. Mm. But once I got here, I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. He talking about 7 Eleven, the fucking store. Yeah. Cause that's when I really started paying attention to fucking tracks and how they name after snacks and shit in the mm-hmm. store and shit. Mm-hmm. So, nigga, what made you come up with that whole concept, dog? Like, you going 7 Eleven all the time and just like, hey, man, I'm going to do this shit. Um, Before I moved to Florida, I went. I went through like um, just some hard shit, like mm. anxiety, depression, yeah. a lot of like just dark shit. Yeah. And before that happened, me and my friends was like, this was always kicking it. Yeah. Pulling up, freestyling, uh, driving around high as fuck through the night. And they, my uh, dog Bo, he had a recording like 17 minutes mm. of us. In the car, yeah. going to Seven Eleven, yeah. and we talking shit in the car. It's so much shit that I could play, yeah. and you know, it's other artists who still make music now who's who's in the car. Yeah. So it's just like it was just a moment that I was like, I can capture this moment of us freestyling, talking shit in the car, Hell yeah. and name shit after snacks, just in that high stoner life. Hell yeah. But also. Uh, these supposed to be all these songs supposed to be freestyles and yeah. just vibes and that's why they only two minutes hell yeah shit so, cold though that's a nice concept it, too cause like you know niggas attention span is short as fuck, short as fuck. so if you get right to the point got you know what I'm saying the Give beats the, vibes. I, the beats is dope as hell that Man. boom bat type shit shout dog. out to King Decipher they was all produced by King Decipher yeah yeah the yeah. whole shit was straight and like I said of course you know what I'm saying you um, right now it seems like the thing is the shorter the better you know what I'm saying? Seven songs, six songs, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's the new wave now. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that shit came after Kanye was doing that shit, but that's the hey, new shit now. X and Tatsion, he did, was doing that shit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. making like short songs. And also, because niggas' attention span is small, yeah. but I ain't gonna put too much out there, but streams. Yeah, hell so, yeah. So play that bitch through. Play yep. another one. Hell yeah, you hell yeah. Because yeah. hey, niggas ain't gonna, yeah, it's too, it's too short replay. to skip. So you gonna replay yeah. value. You hell wanna yeah. make sure the replay value is there. For sure. Hey, you know when you can play a long song when that bitch good. Hell yeah. When you get to four minutes, that bitch is vibe. Hell yeah, because niggas, the three, cause the three verse days is dead. That shit been dead. It is, bro. But at the same time, I feel like it's gonna be an evolution. Music always has its uh, but then, and then its Nick, turnaround. And then niggas always gonna complain because if it's a yeah. dope album, it's all one more shit, man. Or it's too short. Or I mean, it's too that's long. the problem, bro. You can't be rushing niggas to drop projects, bro. Yeah. That's why it take me a year to put some shit to some shit. Move yeah. ass shit. Make though. sure that shit. Make sure that shit, that shit work out. It don't even take me a year to be honest, because I'll still be writing. I'm. I got shit prepared now, but yeah. it's like, you know, you gotta take time. Give it some, yeah. Hell you don't yeah. Wanna... Let niggas build with it, cause niggas be so. No, you gotta drop so much new shit because there's so many new motherfuckers and niggas expect so much every day. But also think about your career as um, okay, if you were a, uh, a salesman and you were at the store and this is your company, you you don't want to sell your products. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You don't want to get to the point to where you ain't got nothing on the shelf and you can't make no more money. Yeah. So you gonna have to re up. Like you yeah. gonna have to make sure you got good content. You gotta make sure you got shit that's gonna keep racking these pops. Hell so yeah. Hell yeah. Keep racking these viewers, keep racking these fans. You don't want people to lose interest just For because sure. you ain't you ain't pushing you pushing too much out yeah. or you ain't putting out enough. It's yeah, so. yeah. You, it's always you gotta find that in between. Mm-hmm. For sure. It's so, structure. What was the uh what was the reaction from the from the project dog? Like was it what did 7-11? you get? Yeah. Oh, it was cool. Like people was fucking with it. Like yeah. um a lot of people was like the story of it. Mm. A lot of people Muffin was like my main play song that still is my most play song. Yeah. Um that uh Love You Vibe shit. Yeah. Um, um, and and it, the reaction when I performed it though was crazy. Uh, when I did my song Nachos, mm-hmm. um, at because I performed, I opened up for Rap City. Uh, yeah, last, I, I seen that shit. Yeah. yeah, I opened up for Rap City uh, Valentine's Day uh, last year. Yeah, and um, I did that song Nachos, and they was rocking with that shit. I actually met um the um I think she was the, not the CEO but for RSBC Eats yeah the festival she was there and then I performed from her again she was yeah. like I saw you you guys were yeah, yeah, yeah I got a really great response when it came to the music um even uh you know uh, on social media yeah so it was it was always cool hell like, yeah hell yeah to see it now like cause after that I dropped Nappy I dropped that three that, uh three EP shit yeah. three track EP and that one was 
like got more love. Yeah. So that was now just that's, like, that's not on title then. Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh nappy. Yeah. yeah, that one on title. It's on title. Mm-hmm. Damn, I was looking. At, damn, all right, that, one, that one on Spotify. That one on title. Okay, that okay. Like too. Now on this show we do a lot of top five, top three. Mm-hmm. So give me your top three songs on Seven Eleven and why. Mine's is Nachos, White Owls, and Brisk. Okay, that was my top three. Okay, what's your top three? I Ed? like I like that. I like that selection. Uh, mine's uh, Arnold Palmer, mm-hmm. Nachos, and um. I probably would say Brits too. Yeah. Because Brits, that uh, that vibe, that uh, screaming like, fuck it. Say, yeah. I just need some money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, that expression, uh, I think that I was feeding on Brits was a uh, was just like, I don't know. I, I guess I was just trying to pro- prove myself to be where I, 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 like, I stand where I stand For as sure. an artist and I'm going to continue to grow. Yeah. So it's just like, I guess that what Brit, Brits represented. Arnold Palmer, I wrote that shit while I was working. Uh, at this trash ass job, <laughs> like bro, trash Duh. as fuck. Like so, <laughs> it made me quit, bro. Man. So, but I wrote it to another beat, and then once I found my man's uh, man. stuff, and I hit him up and work with him, I found that one. I was like, okay, this is perfect. What was the trash ass job though? Uh, uh, Outback Steakhouse, bro. Okay. Yeah, trash yeah. as fuck, bro. I was, I was. That's why I stopped. I stopped uh, cooking and shit, cause I used. I started off. Okay, it was the McCone Daily shit. Yeah. And then it went to the food services. And then I started working at the factories. Okay. So the factories lasted for probably like a year. Then cut that shit off. And yeah. I was just doing this music shit. But white, man, fucking white. Not white laws, I'm sorry. Arnold Palmer yeah. was about Outback Steakhouse. Yeah. Like, man, fuck y'all niggas, bro. <laughs> like, man, because, bro, I swear. I was not on the schedule. Niggas called me like, uh, you're supposed to be at work. I'm like, bro, no, I'm not. Nigga, I'm yeah. looking at my phone. <laughs> and but the schedule is online thing, so they can go in there and change it anytime. Yeah. So I'm like, bro, who changed my schedule at the last second? Yeah. Y'all trying to set me up. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I go in there and then he told me to come in. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna come in. And then I was like, I was just sitting there and like fan blowing. It was one of those movie moments, bro. <laughs> I'm like, man, fuck this nigga, bro. So yeah. I called back like Man, I got anxiety, bro. Yeah, I'm not feeling great. You know, you know, you can hit the one. Yeah. Of, my mental illness is yeah, fucking yeah, with me. Yeah, my yeah. mental, my mental health is fucking with me. So, nah, I ain't coming in, nigga. Yeah. Click. Yeah. So I come in the next. So I did have to work the next day. <laughs> I knew I had to work the next day. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go in this bitch. So I go in there, and then I'm like, okay, cool. They pull me in the office. As soon as I walk in that bitch, I'm like, oh, here we go. Yeah. So they like, so you called off, and because of you said you had anxiety, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I had major anxiety. I couldn't come in, man. It was just, yeah, yeah. I just wasn't feeling it. Yeah. And plus, I wasn't on the schedule. My schedule was changed. He like, I was. I told y'all. He said, uh, she came over to was like, uh, and then it was like new people, new management and shit. Yeah, yeah. These niggas coming through, change and shit, saying like, I just wasn't fucking with it, bro. But, yeah. she, but fuck that job. Let's yeah. just say that. Yeah, you got like, no jobs, no, nigga. No, no, I got you, plenty of them bitches. You feel like, me, man? Nigga, fuck that job. That shit inspired Five on Two, <laughs> my nigga. That's how Five on Two came about. I don't know if you heard that track. Five yeah. on Two. That shit. That's how. That one, and not just that, but like the where I was working at before that is what inspired that job. Okay, hell yeah, yeah. That's, and then that all this shit, all jobs, the little, a fucked up job will nigga inspire the fuck out you because you trying to get out that bitch. I used to write at work, and that was my best time to write. Like yeah. I used to, if I was working at the uh, uh, food spot, I used to just pull up to the side and act like I'm texting somebody. Yeah. Like we, if we cooking some shit, niggas be over there busy as fuck. Hell yeah. And I just go in the bathroom like fuck y'all hell, niggas. Hell bro. yeah, right. I had an idea, bro. <laughs> no, and I'm just in that, that bitch writing, bro. Yeah. And the music came like, up. But fuck that steak. Uh. When I was working at the warehouses, right. bro. Right, bro. Damn, yeah. bro. And it wasn't steak because niggas was at Coney Island, bro. Yeah. You know, niggas was a fuck them burgers, nigga. What yeah. you talking about? <laughs> fuck them fucking wings, bro. Nah, but um, but nah, um. Say so you was at the factory. I was at the factories at the warehouse and shit. I was just going like you know the little little side little rails. I was at Amazon for a minute too, and they got yeah. aisles and shit. So that aisle shit used to be smooth. It used to be nobody over there. Yeah. Like it's, it was the biggest fuck. So everybody just all scattered all over. So yeah. if I'm in the aisle by myself, I got some. Some bars in my head. Oh, y'all shit getting written Hell yeah. Like, that's how a lot Hell of, like, yeah. the music came about. The for cool, sure. the Bobby shit. For sure, for sure, man. So, shit, you uh, you just dropped the, uh, the three-song EP. You said mm-hmm. you had the, the uh, 7-Eleven in 2020. Mm-hmm. When is the next full project going to come out? The next EP? When, when you um, dropping that? I'm going to... Or what's the plan? I'm trying to... Okay, I'm about to drop a single for 20. Yeah. Uh, I'm about to drop a video and shit. It's okay. It's called uh, New Cape. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's it's not my usual. It's kind of some flex shit. Yeah, like I'm that nigga. Show, yeah, showing niggas that you can go yeah, ahead. Yeah, showing niggas that, that, yeah. that, that I'm a vibe. So yeah. it's like you know I'm different, bro. So yeah. it's like it's kind of cool. Uh, uh, video shot by Ryan Detroit. Shout out to him. For sure. Got some dope vibes coming through. Yeah. Um, and that's supposed to drop 420. Yeah. Um, so you know that's cool. I'm yeah. trying to drop a. a I'm not trying to. I'm going to drop. Plan to drop. Fuck trying to. Yeah. I plan to drop. 
uh, May 7th. Okay. I'm gonna drop another seven track. Yeah. Little project type okay. shit. It's a vibe too. Yeah. Um, so. It's called Cloud 13. That's yeah. on the way. Is it Cloud 13? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool, cool. I try to flip it because, you know, they say 13 is a magical number. Yeah. So, and I'm a stoner. Yeah. So, I'm going to try to be on some vibey shit. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what gotcha. I'm saying? Check out my nigga. Put some, put some, put some, put some vibes on my shit. Yeah, check you know out my nigga right? Classic Pothead. Little bro got the little, uh, the little weed t-shirt you know, line and shit, dog. Oh, what's, what's his name? Uh, Classic Pothead. Classic Pothead? Yeah. On Instagram? Yep, yep, yep. He got what? Uh, t-shirts, uh, fucking shit, whatever, hoodies, okay, okay, all bro. that shit, dog. I thought you said tissue, bro. Oh, <laughs> I was like, bro, what? He got <laughs> weed tissue? Dog, that's, that's a new, what? Nigga high the ass. Like, what? that nigga high out that's, his ass for real. I didn't real. even know that was real. I was like, damn, they can do anything with tissue. Nigga, that motherfucker like, just like, nigga, bro, home. I got shit real quick. Bro, <laughs> nigga, nigga, ha- nigga happy to go shit, nigga, like, that nigga high out his ass. <laughs> that nigga high his ass, literally, uh, like, bro, this nigga, uh, dog. Man. <laughs> The weed too loud, bro. I can hear you. That's it, funny as hell. Duh, funny as hell, dog. Uh, you, you ever thought about moving out the city, dog, to get a bigger buzz or like? Um, yeah. I mean, I think we all think about yeah, it. Yeah, like uh, man, maybe if I move out, I should blow I, I up think, a little bit more. Than... I think I do want to kind of grow the yeah. name here mm-hmm. first. You yeah, know, for I, sure. I feel like I can branch out to other cities just by traveling. I know a lot of people out of state, yeah. so it's kind of like. Sleep on the couch real quick. Go do a couple shows yeah, and see what's see up. See what happens. Um, yeah, so it's like that can always happen. Um, yeah. So that's in the air. Um, but at the most part, I kind of still like building my name here. Yeah, I kind of yeah. still like, like, because it's cool now to be like, niggas know you over here and yeah. over here. So and some niggas like, ain't got patience, dog. Bro, not at all. Like, I mean, I'm still, want... I'm still young, so yeah, it's kind of like. because they want that shit to happen tomorrow. Like... I mean. But why why want something so fast when you're not prepared? Yeah, hell so, yeah, because you definitely gotta be prepared for that yeah, shit for like, everything. Because some niggas ain't ready for that industry life. Industry shit ain't just like you know just music and performing and yeah. you know touring and hoes and all that shit. It's paperwork and smart decisions. Hell, and that's, so, that's funny you say that shit. Cause um, I was gonna say what's some shit about the music that you that you dislike that you wish you had to go through. Um, like fakeness of some artists. Yeah, the 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 the, the, the just the some shit. I started doing music by myself, yeah. before, like after my friends or after the group. Yeah. So once you got to your branch out and do your solo shit, and then you just meet other artists along the way, yeah. you realize some people aren't built like you. You yeah. realize, like you realize some people just don't come from the same Hell yeah. mindset. And that's, sure. even though we're from the same city, that doesn't necessarily mean we come from we two you know peas in a pod. Yeah. So it's like that. It, I don't like that. A lot of artists. Tend to just say play for ten. Yeah, yeah, just talk is for shit. Um, I'm I'm gonna say that, uh, or bite. Yeah. Uh, and don't give credit where it's due. Yeah. But at the same time, is is this a game? Yeah. I realize it's a game, and I realize yeah, yeah. that, you know, what I'm saying all that glitters ain't gold. Yeah. For so sure. that made me like just see a lot of things within people, because mm-hmm. it's at some degree we social media can play a huge part in how we view. Other individuals, oh, nigga, or for a sure. lot of people can jump on. For sure, a lot of people can jump on certain people because they think they pop. Yeah. Think, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It can Hell all yeah. be a play. Nick, Nick, social media shit, dog. Me and him, we, we know people, dog, who be on bro. that bitch pretending they Pre- ass off. Screams, <laughs> fake. <laughs> Like nigga. followers, fake. Dog, you like, know why I hate when niggas be thinking that those messages be real. That niggas be getting like, we fuck with your music. <laughs> <laughs> but it is what it is. Though. Like dog, and then screenshot them and post it. So it'll be like, I mean, oh, it is what nigga, it is, so come on, man, you speaking? So it is, niggas. What it is. And no, then, I mean no. When it's like le- legit, like legitimate people oh, yeah. genuinely fucking oh, with yeah, your shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, I do yeah. that shit. Somebody fuck with my shit. I will if it's like some. They said some inspirational shit, and they're like, yeah. man, this shit dope. I'm like, man. I'm gonna have to go ahead and share this real quick. Yeah, this yeah. made my day. Like, yeah, nigga, this sure. made me feel like. But you like, know, okay. man, some old bullshit. Yeah. And you click on their page, like, this nigga ain't got no followers. Bro, like, it is just like. The motherfucking cat as the motherfucking Abby. Like, man, <laughs> nigga ain't even got a profile pic. So yeah, it's yeah. like, uh. Yeah. But, I mean, but I don't, I mean, I don't trip over it. You know, teach his own. Because niggas be wanting that stamp you know of saying? approval from social media, bro. I, mean, I, I had to catch on to that because I was just like, it's it's all just kind of an attention thing. Like, yeah. I, I don't need much of the attention. Like, I'm still getting used to. Certain popularity in certain areas. Yeah. Like I'm still getting used to people being like, "Yo!" Like I had fan moments where I didn't know somebody from Candy Paint, but they telling me they heard my song and it was so cold. And I'm like, yeah. "Bro!" I had one moment I went to get a tattoo, the tattoo on my neck. Yeah. I had a mask over my face. Cat was like, "Yo, ain't you Nappy Debbie?" Yeah. I was like, "That should make you feel good." Yeah. Like, yeah. I was like, I was like, "Damn, bro!" Like, 
like, yeah. this was like a couple months ago. And I was yeah. like, damn. And it, it caught me by surprise. That's actually why I asked about the dog, because that same day I got bit by a dog. So yeah. I never forget that shit. <laughs> that same day. That's the first time I got bit. It's right here, bro. I got yeah. the scars to prove Duh. That's why I knocked on the door like, hey. let me hear this nigga first before I Hell come yeah. up here. But so, especially when you come from that, that, that side door, there's always a dog coming Bro, in. I swear to God. Bro, be the biggest dog. <laughs> he don't bite. Oh, he don't lie. He don't yeah. bite. Big ass dog. Duh. That nigga did creep around the corner like, good. Hey, let me, hey, let me know. <laughs> no, but uh, th those moments, bro, like, it just... <laughs> I guess they just they take you by surprise. And yeah. Just, and I, I guess that's why I say I, I like the fact that I'm still building here. Yeah. Because I, I still rarely get those moments with yeah. motherfuckers that I have no clue who they are. Yeah. And they're like, oh, what up, bro? And I'm like, hey. Hell yeah. Like, Hell what's yeah. up, bro? I yeah, <laughs> like, I told my wife, like, you're going to be ready because everybody about to recognize me from this podcast yeah. shit. We're going to be grocery shopping at it's, Walmart. It, it's cool sometimes. <laughs> some, like, at some degree, you'd be like, damn, like, I'm really doing it. Like, yeah. you, you. That recognition, it, yeah, it feels sure. good, and it's like, and it's not negative either. Yeah. Niggas just like, man, bro, you dope. It's like, yeah. it's like, dope. That's 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 yeah. that's vibey. Yeah. So I'm always just kind of making sure, you know, I stay level headed about it yeah, and, and, and humble and yeah. don't get too um, overwhelmed by, yeah. you know, what I'm saying all the yeah. attention. But yeah, it, 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 it it be a lot of fake shit, man. Like you yeah. see that shit with whatever you doing, like even with the podcast stuff. Niggas mm -hmm. say stuff with music. Mm -hmm. Niggas say stuff like. It just it just to be you, saying some you shit. You be listening, time. you you catch it. Like, yeah, you don't do that. Yeah, or or nigga, you ain't, you ain't pull up and on Paula, nigga. Yeah, fake no mama just shit, out you dog. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, dog. Now like you said you said your music is is, is different from Detroit artists, which mm -hmm. is was a fact. Mm -hmm. Did you ever feel like it was a time in your rap career you had to like rap a lie to be accepted? Or like it was mm -hmm. always like nigga, you never thought about this shit because niggas niggas want to rap their truth, but feel like they ain't gonna get the love or the I truth. I think I think um. I think when I first started to kind of rap more, my friend Adam, uh, R.P., uh, that was my dog, and I, when I went to Osborne. Okay, grade, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Uh, it's crazy, because he passed, like, soon as I left Osborne. I was yeah. like, what the fuck? Hell but yeah. him, he he uh, he put me hip. I was, he was, he used to be, like, reading my uh, raps and shit. Yeah. Because, uh, like, niggas sat right next to each other. I was a dog, <laughs> like, brother. Yeah. And then he got into, like, gang violence and shit. Yeah. But niggas used to read my raps and tell me, like, like you rap like Eminem, yeah. But don't rap like Eminem. You yeah, don't yeah. kill people, bro. Yeah. Who you killed, nigga? <laughs> and it was like sure. in that moment, I was just like, "You right." Yeah. Like, but you can you can rap though. You know you can rap. The, yeah. It's all there. The skill yeah. there. Yeah. The penmanship is crazy. But you, this just ain't you. This Eminem. Yeah. Hell yeah. So it was like, okay, I get that. Yeah. And I guess that I never was like, oh, I bet her shooting niggas. It was more so like his like his. Goofiness yeah, to yeah. kill people, like yeah. fuck people, like fuck the world type shit. But it was then it became to like okay, now, now I'm legitimately myself, like 100. Yeah. percent So now it's like okay, now I can talk about what the fuck I'm dealing Hell with at yeah. work. Hell now yeah. I can talk about uh, relationship problems. Now I can talk about people problems. Now I can talk about being a black man in America. Now I can talk about shit that I, it evolves around me, Hell but yeah. people that also are similar to me. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? People in my same neighborhood, people who who look just like me. So Hell it's yeah. just like, I guess that made it more easier to just cope with that yeah. instead of trying to play a role because that role going to always get caught. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, for sure. yo, mama, no. That ain't yeah. how you is. Hell yeah, for so, sure. For you know, sure. yo, 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 mama, ain't you know you don't bro. do that shit. Dog. You know what I'm saying? So, like, uh, what's that movie, dog? CB4, yeah. dog. Watch that shit yeah. the other day, dog. Man, like, you ain't no motherfucking street nigga. You know what I mean? Like, so, I'm from the streets. You ain't. <laughs> bro, I, I mean, like, I, like uh, the streets raised me. Oh, yeah, you know for sure. What I'm That's why like, I, say, I tell people that all, all the time, dog. But I'm from the streets, but I'm not a street nigga. No, because I know the difference. I'm, bro, I was. I was like, I like watch fucking anime and chill yeah. by myself, bro. Yeah, I like yeah. Naruto, Dragon Ball Z type yeah, yeah. shit, bro. Yeah, my man, my son was, I was just talking about that shit the other day, bro. bro. I ain't want to be in that shit. Yeah. yeah, I went outside to play basketball if they asked me to play because I was a tall nigga. My yeah. cousin like, oh, come on, come, <laughs> come, come. We need you to yeah, play yeah, center yeah, real quick. Nigga. So I'm, yeah. So I, so you know, I was, but I was always to myself. Like yeah. I was, I was introverted yeah. until I got into my passions. Once I really realized. Like, oh, my music friends and shit. Yeah. It got more into my, like, expressing that shit. Like, yeah. niggas beatboxing in class and shit. Yeah. And you, like, freestyling and shit. And everybody, like, know you for that. Yeah. It's kind of, like, cool. So, yeah. once I got into that element of, like, what I want to do and this is who I am, yeah. that's when, like, more real friends came along. For and, sure. You know, and, like, all that. Uh, my more extroverted, like, more my personality came out. Because yeah. being in the hood and you know necessarily that, I guess, like, you just... you. You not trying to condemn with what society wants you to be as a black yeah, person. Hell yeah. You don't want to be labeled as ignorant or just a nigga because yeah. that's, you're not hell just yeah. a nigga. You hell feel yeah. me? So with that concept in your head, you always gotta know that you can be on you beyond more than what 
these people want you to be for sure. in this world. Hell so yeah. when I caught on to that, it was just like, Hell at that yeah. point, I was just going to be myself. Hell yeah. Got to. Got to. Mm-hmm. It's always better being yourself than motherfucking sit here and just motherfucking painting this picture that ain't you. Right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, the world is our canvas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We should be able to tell our own story. You should yeah, yeah. Some, and then somebody going to relate like, damn, yeah. I, I rock with dog. I'm going through the same shit. Exactly. Instead of somebody saying, I rock with dog, but dog ain't really about that life. Bro. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> and then when you see him, bro, he damn sure ain't about that life. Hell like, yeah. Damn, Hell bro. yeah, dog. So, man, I like to ask this question to people like, you now versus you when you first started. What mm. would be some shit that you would change or and what's some shit that you would just keep the same? My surroundings. Yeah, that's what you would keep the same? I would no, I would oh, change, change my surroundings. Okay. Look, certain individuals yeah. when I started. Um not everybody. But yeah. uh I would change I would change the the way I view the world. Okay. I wouldn't necessarily allow myself to just believe anything. Yeah. Um, or just like get so overwhelmed about how life could be mm. um in America. Yeah. So, um, but also I just still remain me. Yeah. Tell, if I could talk to my uh younger rap self, yeah. It, I just keep it real with them like, bro, fuck everybody. Yeah. Anybody who disagree, anybody who feels some type of way. I remember having self doubt and leaving the competition and to later figure out that I won that bitch. Damn. And I'm like it was at the Blue Night Club, 2018. Yeah. I still remember August 8th. Yeah. White boy uh, hit me up on Instagram like, uh, congratulations on the win. I'm like, what you mean? Yeah. He like, oh, girl, posted it. She came in second. I check it out. I'm like, damn. So, and my man's like, Nappy Debbie, first place. And I'm like, what the fuck? It was for some music shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just like, never doubt yourself. Bro. Hell no. Never, never allow yourself to, never short yourself. Don't take nobody bullshit. Don't, like, if you hear it, no, nigga, take it and run with it and leave that shit as motivation to keep going. Hell yeah. Fuck anybody who disagree with what you are or who you are or how you are. So, nigga. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of times, niggas be too scared of rejection or what niggas think, and then they just, like, say, fuck it, I'm done. Bro, I'm when, you, when you... I ain't trying to get too deep with it, but you a black man in America, nigga, rejection is everywhere. Hell yeah, so nigga. So it's like, nigga, every these day, jobs, shit. nigga, <laughs> nigga, fucking and neighborhoods, bro, in your household sometimes. Hell yeah. So it's just like, bro, at, at this point, you... Just gotta keep it like keep it real with yourself. Like yeah. what the fuck? What what um what motivates you to get up and do shit every day? Yeah. That's all you that's all you need. Bro. Hell yeah, real, real shit. shit. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure. Real nigga shit. was preaching some motherfucking I, I ain't trying to get too hell deep. Yeah, bro. Hey, nigga, that's yeah, you that's need the that thing, shit. bro. I could be a goofy ass <laughs> nigga, bro. But I, I I'm a deep nigga, bro. I hell read, yeah. bro. You feel hell me? Yeah. Nigga, I back, done been through some shit. Give out some gems to y'all niggas. I'm man. young, bro, but I've been through a lot, bro. I can school these young hell old yeah. niggas, bro. Hell I can school some of these rappers too, bro. Hell yeah, dog. Now growing up, man, did you ever fuck with the show Making the Band? Did he? Making the band? Yeah. Like, a little bit, not really right. a lot. All right, now you know you you know the whole little shit about like making the band was like like with Des- Danny Kane, Danny Kane, uh, the, the band, the day twenty seven, yeah, day twenty six, yeah. Okay. One so, of them other. So if you had <sighs> if you had to choose a one album project, dog, mm-hmm. and your band yourself and four other people, dog, mm-hmm. who would it be, man? And it got it, it, it got fit like you know saying of course the you vibe, need some singers, gotta, some, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Right. Who fit you? Your surroundings. All right, so we gonna. We're going to get Duckworth in there. All right. Uh, yeah, a Cali artist. He's bro, pretty dope. Um, That's one. One. Uh, fuck. Damn, man. Uh, <laughs> this is hard. Okay. Hell yeah, yeah, man. You know. I ain't going to cap with you. We're going to throw Junie in there. Okay. From the city. She uh upcoming artist, too. From here? Yeah. All right, bad. I'm going to tap in. Yeah, she dope. All right. You got two um, more, dog. Because I know that would be a dope album. Uh, Who else? Who else? Uh, damn, bro. <laughs> Cause I don't want it to be trash. Yeah. Does, does groups count as one, yeah. or niggas in the group count as two? Like, no, you can't. Y'all, you nigga have a uh, fucking. I, 10 I don't man. want. I don't. I don't. I don't want no big names. Cause I want it to be like, oh shit, this is about some inter- like some underdogs. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't want no big names in, in sure. the album. You want some like some cool. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, 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 we don't yeah. want to throw Beyonce in there just because of her name in that bitch. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? And yeah, we just gonna get money for that. Like no, nah, yeah. no. Nah, um, so who else? Who else? Who else? I'm trying to keep the vibe going. The wave of how the album would sound. Yeah. yeah me, Duck Ray, June. Um, I want to say. Fuck. <laughs> ah man, this is hard. Isaiah Rashad. All right, baby. I'm gonna yeah, throw yeah. my nigga Zay in there. Even though that's a different vibe, they Zay gonna bring a different vibe. But I gotta bring another like type of 
aggressive yeah. artists like that. Yeah. Like, not necessarily. Zay kind of like stoner, like lean coolish with it. But let me see. Who else? And you got one more dog. And you got one more. Just, just complete the motherfucking. Got one more to like. Nappy band. <laughs> oh, Nappy man. crew, nigga. You feel me? With the naps. You feel me? Um. Uh. I want to say Childish Gambino, even though he like a, a, oh, one of those names. Hell but Childish yeah. Cole, he going to bring the vibes. He going yeah. to set that bitch off. I can't wait till Atlanta come back, too. You feel bro. me? Like, that's that was a shit. good ass show. Hell yeah. I don't think I got to season two, though. I don't think I, I dog, got to season that two. That shit cold. Atlanta, yeah. dog. That shit funny. And then, uh, uh, what's my man? Uh, me, D- uh, Dave, uh, Lil Dicky. His show? I ain't never watch it. Oh, there you I ain't never watch you it. Get, you get high. Get high and watch it. You said you get yeah. high. Get high Great and watch response. that show, dog. Now I got to watch it. That, dog, I'm telling you. Just because it's a hot show. High, get you some motherfucking 7-Eleven motherfucking uh, Bro. munchies, nigga. Bro. And you good to I'm go, on it. dog. I'm on it. I'm on it. You good to go. Now, before we get to the, towards the end, dog, mm-hmm. it's funny. I remember back in the day, dog, mm-hmm. radio was everything. Mm-hmm. Radio was a shit, dog. What's, what you think? What's more important, dog? What would be more important for you? Mm-hmm. Radio play or just... Social media, like just that, uh, just that recognition on social media. Radio that, cool. Radio, radio player, that blue check. Radio <laughs> cool. Um, I mean, what's more important? I, I would say radio. I mean, if it, if it comes to social media, can be yeah. any way. We are like, saying social media be get, some bullshit. You, I could blow right now if I go do some dumb shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If I go, like. Jump off a cliff and survive, nigga. Yeah. Like, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's a rap, bro. I'm about to be the most talked name yeah. on yeah. social media. But sure. uh, but radio play, that's kind of recognition. Because yeah. once you get that, now the city know who you is. Somebody going to be driving in the car and hear that shit. Be like, bro, who is? And then you get that. Imagine one of your homies driving in the yeah. car and hear that shit. And then you like, bro, what the? Yeah. Oh, this yeah. naps, bro. Hey, yeah. hey. Bro, you get that phone call. It's just going. I feel like it will give you more of a of a light. That's that. Yeah. Like, yeah, bro, I made it, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. For but, sure. um. I guess social media play a part in that too, but I don't know. I mean, me personally, I feel like because once one radio uh, promoter hear that shit, the next one go hear that shit, mm-hmm. and then it's gonna be playing in another city, and it's like, bro, yeah, this yeah. shit popping over here, bro. This shit going crazy. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, I mean, social media, it's it's an all over the world thing too, but it can be yeah a good and bad like you said, it be some fake shit, yeah, some real shit. It you can know? be some shit that. Help in the long run, but it can be some. It also can be your downfall. Yeah, yeah. And social media, nigga, you gotta just watch out what you do out here, mm-hmm. how you move, cause niggas mm-hmm. be quick with the phone. Like, mm-hmm. damn, mm-hmm. nigga, ain't got. You see how uh, my man's got his shit pulled up, Who like that? all his old shit pulled up side of. Oh yeah, 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 a while yeah. ago. Hell yeah, then you just got that over some small shit. Yeah, so it's just Hell like yeah. niggas gonna find that shit, dog. So at this point, you just like. And then you got the one nigga who all on social media. Been, I'm tired of that shit now, dog. Man. The Derek, the Derek Jack nigga, the Jackson, whatever. I don't know who that is. The, the dude who I guess the the motivational speaker will be helping women out, but he wind up find out he cheating on his wife. Oh, I, I didn't even the girl with the bunny on. She, was, like, they, they, they was, she was on yeah. his hands. Is that what was? Everybody making the memes. I'm tired of that shit, oh, dog. Yeah. I'm tired of that shit. Oh yeah. But if you know you got some motherfucking shit that can be out there, dog, why why put that energy out there that you just do this group who can help he, out and you ain't fucked around goofy. you? Yeah, you fuck That's around you. You cheating and she like yeah, we know about this. But dog, they put they pulled up a football picture of him and her saying that they was together and then they pulled up his stats. <laughs> Nigga had one catch his whole his whole for Cos career. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> so they go in they going on everything. He had one catch, bro. This nigga was a tight end, nigga. That nigga, Damn. nigga had one catch in that bitch. Uh, so they, they call on that nigga for don't everything. Be trying to show out, see? Hell they pull yeah. all your records up. Hell yeah. Trying so, to beat somebody you not. Towards the end, man, we always do a top three, man. Okay. I give you a category, man, and you give me your top three. So give me your uh top three, uh top category? three or uh, top three foods. Okay. Top three foods. Waffles. It's exactly wow. Hold on, hold on. Lasagna. French, French toast is the shit though. Uh, French toast go crazy, but everybody yeah. don't make good French toast. Waffles <laughs> yeah. always come out great. It's just yeah. something about just the shape of a waffle. Yeah. It's supposed yeah. to be good. <laughs> you feel me? The shape, my nigga, it matters. Yeah. Is it all right. Um lasagna. And uh Fuck. Well, I can't even pick the third one, bro. Cause I don't want no basic ass food. <laughs> you feel me? I don't wanna say no shit like I can't even think right now. Cause I'm high. <laughs> Three. Uh, yeah, you, you got waffle. You got motherfucker. Get lasagna. Got, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to put it as a combo too in my head on some dumb shit. That's probably why. <laughs> That's probably why. Like I can't eat all this shit together. You feel know? me? <laughs> this don't sound right. You feel me? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The third one. The third one. Um. 
I was gonna say chili cheese fries, bro. Hell Them yeah. bitches not when you blow this hell. Man. Bro, you ever had uh, you will smoke. See, you ever pulled up, blow this fuck to a coney out at two at night. Yeah. It was like, just give me two things of chili cheese fries. Them bitches Man. go crazy. Yeah, bro, they it. go so crazy, I bro. And it. it gotta be the right coney, cause some of them niggas don't use the right cheese, bro. Yeah, that shit so, go crazy in my stomach, nigga. I know uh, that for <laughs> sure. I mean, I had to call off the next crazy, day. Bro. Like I can't, I gotta I, take a press of that. Man, nigga. See, not mad, cause I feel like I shouldn't, I feel like I got other foods other than chili cheese fries. That I put in my favorite. Cause I, I feel like I just did some Detroit shit with that. You feel me? I feel like I did some Coney Island shit with that. But I know it's something else in there. But we gonna keep those things. Yeah. All right, bet, bet. You got motherfucking lasagna waffles and motherfucking chili cheese fries. I feel like I could eat all that shit too. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, all together. Yeah. You feel me? As a unit, my Duh. nigga, with a side of drink. You know what I'm saying? It's a wrap. You feel me? It's a, yeah. it's a wrap. Hell no, no. All right, give me your uh, top three childhood crushes. Alicia Keys. All right. Uh, top three. I had a crush on Queen Latifah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking when I was little, bro. I did, bro. That's a first. That's a well, I'm being honest. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a first. Big mama, you know what I'm saying? That's Thick ones. Right <laughs> Thick ones, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, well, that. I think what movie was The Last Holiday when she was about to die? I think that was why I had a crush on her. <laughs> it was her L Cool J. She was supposed to she was supposed yeah. to die or something like that. Duh. I think that's what it was. I was little as hell. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh shit, she All dying. Right. So you got you, the, know? you got Queen Latifah, uh, <laughs> fucking Alicia Keys. <laughs> <laughs> He's about combos. Nigga. <laughs> Hold up. Um, I don't know, bro. Um, <laughs> You know, see, you got to keep it entertaining. You feel yeah, me? So who, who no, that? but I was serious about that. That wasn't a lie. Oh, uh, no, what the fuck? We all got to do. Let me see. So I used to have a curse on American ass. Let when me I was see. Little. Oh, so you went to Disney characters. Okay. <laughs> Kim Possible, my nigga. <laughs> Cartoon <laughs> characters, bro. She was whooping ass, bro. She was a secret agent, bro. Duh, you feel me? Funny. You feel me, bro? Come on, bro. This Kim a, Possible, he definitely nigga. Both she a whoop part. your ass and then go to school the next day. Like, what are you talking say, about? That, that, that nigga got like, Alicia Keys. Because you, you went over to Disney characters some shit. Yeah. I'm like, okay. This is the best one ever, though. Uh, throw, throw, throw a cartoon Alicia in there. Keys, Queen Latifah. I was, you said when I was a kid, too, bro. Come on, bro. I had an imagination. Imagination, hey, we, you know what I'm saying? Uh, exactly. they just, uh, use your mind. <laughs> 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 Nigga, like, I can imagine me, you motherfucking hurt, saving the world. Come on, my crib. <laughs> no, give me your top three uh, movies, bro. Oh, yeah. Okay. Matrix. Yeah. Uh, that shit go crazy. I like action movies and shit. Yeah. Uh, Unleashed by Jet Li. Okay. Um, Jet Li is probably one of my favorite actors, too. Yeah. Uh, um... Three. I just seen the butterfly effect for the first time. Yeah. I, it really fire. Yeah. Really fire. I'm trying to think if that's one of my top three though. I just saw it like a week ago. Yeah. A really good movie, bro. That shit was good as fuck. Yeah. Um, because he didn't get the girl at the end. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to spoil it for nobody. Yeah, yeah. See that shit. But it's like a movie that kind of was like it, it fucked with your mind. Like, damn. Yeah. I might throw that in there. Yeah, fuck okay. it. Butterfly effect. Okay, now this one, this always motherfucking knock niggas off the top three moments in life. Wow. Top three moments in life. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a hair scratcher. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah. You gotta think deep, man. You can't pull out no dumb shit. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, bro, I found a pack of gum on the floor. <laughs> like, nigga, what? Hey, yeah, that time I had. Come on, you feel me? Uh, top three <laughs> moments in life. I don't want to be a basic nigga and be like, we're my first nut. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that that's nigga. That's a good bro. moment, nigga. It is a good moment. It is a great moment. That's, a def- that's an honorable mention, dog. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an artist, bro. I want to be inspirational. Yeah. I want to make people think about it. Like, yeah, man, I ain't thinking that. You know nigga what I'm saying? I, I want to be different. I want to be extra. I bust on that quality for picture. <laughs> That is a good question. Um, top three moments. Hell yeah. Damn. It might be some shit you might have to motherfucking uh, send Because I feel like 
He gonna, he gonna go home like, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna bro, see this shit. Bro, they gotta be good moments. Like yeah. you don't want to pull on no whack ass three moments, bro. Yeah. Like, I like, nigga, that happened to me the other day. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, oh yeah, damn. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me see. That time I found that hundred dollars. You feel me, bro? <laughs> that was, a, you know, <laughs> bro. It's a good ass moment. Um, I want to say just recently when I just won the ox. That was a moment. Oh yeah, yeah, that's because what I really did not expect to win. Yeah. Um, I came there to have fun. Mm. I literally was just vibing. Yeah. And I pl- I literally plotted the whole like I, I I I figured out if they put me up against a certain person I might lose. Yeah. But I figured out if they if I didn't go against uh uh some people I'm like I'm I'm gonna win this shit. Yeah. Cause I I started to listen to other people's music that I was going against and shit. Yeah. Like I really played like it was a game. I'm like yeah. I'm about to beat these niggas, bro. Yeah. And it was like. Okay. Yeah. And I won that bitch. I want to say that because I. So was it like a, like tournament style, like elimination? You go against another yeah. person. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. it was like it was like uh it was ten people. Yeah. And we all played one song a piece. Okay. And then once they was getting towards like the last round, they was that niggas play two. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, bro. I got some bangers now. Don't yeah. fuck with me now. For sure. So I'm like, okay. And that's yeah. what happened. And then like um, excuse me. Um, it was just in that moment, it was like. I guess having that faith in myself yeah. was like enough to be like, oh, bro, you good, bro. You yeah, got yeah. this shit. Don't even that confidence. And then somebody, somebody from the crowd was like, hey, bro. Because I was up there uh, performing. I was up there rapping my songs. Yeah. Everybody else was just sitting out letting them play. Yeah. I was the nigga like, give me the mic, bro. Yeah, just, yeah for like, sure. And just That'd be, be better. Extra. Extra. You, you watch the verses, bro. That'd be better when they so doing when that I, shit. When I lost like my, uh, not I want to say I got a little... I got a little low because I was like, I, at that moment, I was like, man, they about to pick this nigga. Yeah. So I kind of lost my confidence a little bit. Dude, and the crowd was like, man, what you doing? Bro? Hey, get a performance. Yeah, 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 he literally, he was with somebody else. I came by myself. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. They said it was a crowd participation. Make sure you bring people. I came alone. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Oh, that's what I said. That's I came that's alone. You feel love. me? Yeah. I was. I came alone. I got hella love. So, and... My man's once once I won that competition, once that round or whatever, he was like, "Man, man, they, man, the crowd feeling you, bro. Like, don't yeah. even, man, what? Yeah, when you yeah. lost the confidence, they felt it, nigga. Hell yeah, he was nigga. on me, bro. It was on some straight East Side nigga shit. Yeah. Straight, you know? Like this cousin Ray Ray. I'm like, okay, yeah. nigga shit. You right, cuz. Yeah. Like you yeah. right, cuz. Yeah. After that. After yeah. that, I knew I had night. Like yeah. once I won the second round, I was like, I won, bro. Yeah. Like I couldn't even, I couldn't like trip anymore in my head it was like i had all the tools even though i went by myself i yeah. had all the tools to let me know that i was gonna be the nigga to Hell take yeah. the crown for sure even though it was just, you know a couple hundred hours like, it was straight yeah. but it was cool like you know what i'm saying that 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 moment was like a moment for me dj bj was there yeah. so it just like a couple niggas was there you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah. it made me feel like i'm a force to be wrecked with Hell yeah like i Give me like couple, like not even a couple years. Give yeah. me like no more than a year. These yeah. niggas gonna be like naps. Hell yeah, yeah bro. So, oh, 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 shout out for everybody. Yeah, broadcast. yeah, yeah. Nah, bro, that nigga, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, that that's nigga. cousin Poo Poo. No yeah. That's a good nigga though, right there. You feel me? He cool. People, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's one nigga. That's one. <laughs> uh, damn, bro. And that was really silly. You know what I mean? He was like, um, maybe if I say this shit, he ain't gonna hit me. He ain't gonna hit me with the rest. Who, <laughs> <laughs> bro? <laughs> Um, or you want to make that bitch that, that, that good one, nigga. That was a good me? one. You feel me? Yeah, like, yeah, nigga, I want all three rounds, so. Shit, that much, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, round one, round two, um, round, round three, nigga. Um, <laughs> when, uh, when I got uh, my uh, apartment, when I got my first apartment. Hell yeah, I was, that's uh, always a motherfucker. I was fucked up. I was like... God damn, oh, we got shit. couch man and drop some oh, shit, dog. Shit. It's all good. Keep that shit, nah, nigga. I'm talking shit. Fuck, fucking couch well, man. When uh, I got my first apartment, I was like, I ain't trying to go no deep shit, but I was yeah. like, I was like, I was down bad. Like, yeah, like, hell homeless yeah. Homeless shit, sleeping on niggas' couches, shit, fucked up for like, yeah. a couple years. So it was like house hopping and shit. Hell so yeah. when I like, I, I remember that I made a video on Instagram. I'm like, I'm gonna get my first crib. It mm-hmm. didn't take me nothing but like seven months to get hell that yeah. bitch. And so, I was in that bitch for three years. I'm about to get a house now. Hell so yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's a good moment, Those nigga. Because nigga, my friend, if it's a studio apartment, that's your motherfucking spot, bro, nigga. So. Bro, <laughs> and then when you at your lowest, bro, yeah. and and then you got like family doubt, you got bullshit to deal with, yeah. you got your own shit to deal with, because you ain't really got hella bread, yeah. but you still made ends meet. Yeah, for so sure. So it's like that shit. Make you appreciate 20, that shit, bro. Made you really appreciate yeah. that shit. Twenty one. And I stayed, I'm 24 now, so I was in that bitch for three years, bro. So yeah. it was like, that's a major accomplishment. Hell yeah. Because I got my first car, I got my second car there. So you know what I'm saying? Hell like, yeah. nigga didn't grow up. 
Hell from yeah. the young breed who catching the bus. Hell you know yeah, what I'm saying? Nigga, hey. So it's like... Hell yeah, nigga. My son, I was talking to that nigga about the, the bus. Like, yo, you never been you know on the bus saying? before. You, feel me? Bro, you bro, never I been thought, mad. Hey, the bus gets, is inspiration too. Because no, I used to write <laughs> hella lyrics on the bus, no, bro. No, the worst thing like, about a bus is when you see it, it's winter time, nigga, cold as fuck. Bro. And you see a bus coming, but that bitch say nine service. No, nine service. Oh, yeah. that bitch pass you by. like, what the fuck? That bitch pass you by. Like, bitch, you... It's even worse when they pass you by and that bitch packed, bro. Oh, yeah. I remember, see, I was... We, 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 I went to the Bay Bay school, so we all used to be at the bus stops. Yeah. Bus drunk driver didn't want to, you know, he didn't want to. Yeah, that's how I was on with the SC, so I used to go down the street, nigga, where it's nobody. Like, all right, man, man I'm going to go down here, dog. He didn't want to pick us all up, bro. Bro, like, he was not for that shit. Hey, ain't that like when you on the bus and it's Pat and you ringing the bell, get off that bitch and you he passed? You know, nigga, it's my stop. Bro. <laughs> And that's, that's <laughs> it, man. That's moments like that though, legendary, bro. Duh. Like that, that Duh. shit to me is like, man, nigga, that, the, that's a come up. Like, hell yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I mean, so that's two. Okay, nigga. So I remember it's two. All right, all right. And it can be good moments and bad moments. Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Just... And this the story you said it was one uh, story. I was off acid. Yeah. I was. Oh, off... you gotta say that, dog. No. I'm gonna I'm say it, bro. Okay, okay, babe. This is this I is was, a high moment, then, y'all. This is a high moment. Yeah. I was uh, I was at I was in Florida. Yeah. I was at EDC Orlando. Okay. I was listening to uh, EDM music, nigga. I was off fucking acid, yeah. weed, edibles, all that shit. Fucked up, right? Yeah. So now, so me and my How friends, you acid, weed, edibles, all that shit, bro. Oh, yeah. I was fucked up, bro. Yeah. I was like. 20 so yeah. i was a young nigga just living life bro uh chill with my friends and shit uh these niggas i used to work at uh outback with one cat named kevin yeah. cool little uh uh hispanic hispanic nigga so he like bro this is a fucking edm bro it was two hundred dollars bro to get yeah. two days yeah. shit was lit as fuck he like bro i'm had all the trucks he had bitches with him it was just lit <laughs> yeah. everything was cool bro yeah. so it was just like it was just it was just, it is what it was. So I was like, all right. Yeah. So, nigga, that was the first time I did, that was the second time I did acid. I'm sorry, because he brought it to me when I, on my birthday, yeah. same year. Uh, that was in November. So, uh, fast forward, we at fucking e, uh, EDC or whatever, yeah. vibing and shit. Uh, everybody, we all tripping, fucked up, looking like, so they got visuals, like the light beams on that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 fuck high as hell. So that shit look crazy, hell right? Yeah, I bet. I'm just sitting there vibing. My, my dog's like, uh, Kevin, his whole little posse, because I don't know nobody but him. Mm -hmm. So he like, man, oh, we about to go up front. We about to go close to the stage. I'm like, all right, man. He like, are you good? You good? Everybody like, everybody yelling, yo, you good, man? I'm straight, bro. I'm good. I'm good. Everybody like, all right, bro. Nigga, I'm just chilling. I'm just high as fuck, just tripping, bro. Just, just looking at the visuals, bro. I ain't even doing nothing, bro. Yeah. And then, why this big cocky ass nigga, bro? Black nigga with a mohawk. I still remember this nigga <laughs> to this day. Came and pushed the fuck out of me like, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Bro, I was so Hi, bro. I, I bullshit you not, bro. I'm like, bro, what's going on, bro? He yeah. was big as hell, bro. I thought I bumped into his girl some shit. <laughs> I'm thinking like something happened, no. bro. I'm standing still, bro. I'm like, what's wrong with my man? Why this nigga? I swear to God, bullshit you not. Terry Crews looking ass nigga. Why this nigga start dancing, bro? He was like, uh, uh, I'm like, oh, bro, no, you did challenge me, nigga. I was like, this nigga did not just challenge me, bro. I'm high as fuck, bro. I'm, I never done. I've never been in this environment before, bro. I thought about to get my ass beat, bro. This nigga was big as hell, bro. I'm 20 years old. Grown ass nigga. And he started dancing, bro. So you know what the fuck I did? I started dancing, nigga. Like, you got me fucked up. Like, bro. Bro, that nigga, bro, I was like, bro, bro, I got him together. See, he ain't no, bro. Mike raised me, nigga. You wasn't about to kill me. No. I was to Chris Brown, bro. You wasn't about to kill me, nigga. No. Bro, I, it was, it was, it was so fucking funny, bro. But I was, I was like, my heart was pounding. I and when it. I saw this nigga break a move, I was, oh, he crazy. No. And then it was a circle. The white boys got involved. I'm like, what the fuck? No. Bro, it was so lit, bro. That shit was dope as fuck. No. And bro, my friends were scattered and I ain't had no water. One of the white boys saw me over there breathing heavy as hell. He like, bro, you need some water, bro? It was cool. No. That was one of the, like, I would never forget that, bro. No. Never in my life, bro. Because I no. thought I was about to get my ass beat. No. But he started dancing. I, and, I, and I killed him, though. I, I won. No. I feel like that was my win, bro. No, that shit. Because he wasn't funny. cold as he thought he was. No. I felt like he was one of them cool niggas that was like, he was already kind of fucked up. He probably was yeah. off some coke and shit. He had coke vibes. Cause that nigga Bangs was showing. Like, he was 
he was ready to beat my ass, bro. But yeah. that nigga started doing moves, bro. I'm like, are you crazy? <laughs> crazy. <laughs> and then he wasn't even cold with it. Nigga stiff. He looked like he grew up at a white school. Like, no, nah, bro. You ain't about to kill me, bro. Duh, I got man. rhythm, nigga. I'm from the city. We in Florida, bro. So Duh. it was it was that was one of the dopest moments. Duh, that that was one of the craziest moments, but it was so fucking dope. So that was his motherfucking hot moment slash yes. third moment of his life, yes. dog. I will never forget that. Cause it was it was serious, bro. I literally thought. He was about to take me out the game. Like, duh, imagine that. Duh. I'm by myself. My friends scattered, bro. Ted Cruz, duh. My friends scattered. Like, it scattered, bro. Duh. Like, that nigga, like, that, he, like he did steroids, duh, bro. My like, motherfucking he, jaw hurt, dog. I, I bullshit you not, bro. That nigga, I will never forget that shit. That nigga said he pushed my like, Nigga, what? Bro, ha! <laughs> and then started moving, bro. I was like, he is duh, not serious. That shit funny that as shit hell. That shit was funny as hell. Duh, nigga, big mohawk, strong Bro, ass, and nigga, I can't... It, it, it's so crazy, because it's like... That shit... <sighs> Yeah, you got that's a classic three moments you just yeah, had, nigga. <laughs> yeah. It's duh. so crazy, bro. Duh, that shit funny as hell, duh. <laughs> hey, I wish somebody would have Hell yeah. Bro, I wish, bro. I wish that shit would have been recorded, though. I wish that's what I'm about to say. I wish it would have been recorded, because that duh. shit probably would have went viral. Cause duh. that nigga, I was I, I was just high as hell just looking. Like <laughs> Imagine that, bro. You just feel a force. Duh. Like, that nigga pushed the shit out of me, bro. I'm Duh. like, oh, bro, he's trying to scrap, bro. And he was Duh. so big, bro. Oh, yeah, what? Now, on some, on, oh, yeah. On, some, on some rap shit, dog, I'm yeah. going to end it off, dog. Give me, I want two different top threes. I want your top, I want your top three rappers. And then I want your top three rappers that niggas uh, uh, be like, damn, for real? So give me your, because niggas always got the traditional, nah, it's this J pop. But then I want, I want that, that, that three that you, and then I want that three that niggas be surprised. Okay. Um, okay, top three. Kendrick, Andre, Eminem. All right. Uh, now, they, 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 top three, three niggas be surprised. Dogs. Yeah. Earl Sweatshirt. Okay. I remember, I remember hearing about it. Yeah, Earl yeah. Sweatshirt cold as fuck. Joy yeah. Badass. Yeah, Joy Badass cold. Um, <laughs> I was ever shot. Okay. The yeah, uh, yeah. underdogs. Like, I like I like the underground more than I like mainstream hell really. yeah cause the underground keep it original the mainstream trying to make sure it's commercial hell trying yeah. to make sure it's polished to sell yeah and the underground sure. gonna make sure they just be that and they got their co following exactly motherfuckers they like got people shit. that's been fans like Tech Nine, while. nigga exactly. that motherfucker big as hell Tech like Nine, he, 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 he not, 40 he never went mainstream you know what I'm saying so he's still making bread hell yeah so hell off, yeah. His, off his you know uh Loyal fan base. Yep, yep. So I mean, that's I, I follow mostly underground artists. Like I don't really follow. Like, yeah. Like uh, I think we're dying in the background, y'all. <laughs> yeah. I was like, bro. I, was, I hear him dying. Let me hit that. You coughing? Hell yeah. I got you, bitch. Hell yeah, man. Shit, man. Hey, man. I appreciate you coming. Thank you for the show, bro. bro. It was a vibe. Like, definitely really got to come sure. back when you get drop the project, dog. You feel me? Hey, man. It's ever t- uh, we always do some shit. Last sentiments, dog. If it's some positive words you want to send the people out before you leave, man, do so. If not, you can say fuck them. Some positive words, bro. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Smoke good, eat good, live good. Hell Those yeah. are Kendrick Lamar's lyrics, but <laughs> that. Um, nah, man, just you know, yeah. live, my nigga. Yeah. Fuck the bullshit. Hell yeah. At the end of the day, <laughs> we don't know if we gonna have tomorrow. Hell like, yeah. See, he passed this bitch at the perfect time. Hell yeah. And smoke a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Relax. For sure. For sure, man. Take it easy. It ain't that serious. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Shit, my shit just gonna be man. If you got nothing in the picture, man, why don't you have nothing in the Queen Latifah picture and shit, dog? You feel me? In your first apartment. <laughs> Hold on, I didn't know what he said. I'm like, wait a minute. Dog, oh, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Live life, man. Do what you got to do, man. And shit, like you said, man, don't don't, don't, don't let niggas' uh, uh, views or opinions motherfucking deter you from what you got to do. Bro, because the uh, uh, they said Einstein was crazy. You know, that yeah. nigga is known one of the smartest men of our time. Hell shit. yeah, hell yeah, nigga shit. Oh, and um, tell nigga, where can they follow you at, dog? Where can they find oh. the music, social media? Uh, you can find me at Nappy Devi. Mm-hmm. Um, that's N A P P I D E V I. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Nappy with an I, motherfucking not a Y. Yeah. And that's on all social media. That's on uh streaming platforms. Um, you know, I got new shit on the way. Four twenty new single coming out. Uh, I wanted to rap. I, I was hoping y'all play a beat. I was hoping y'all would do that shit, but y'all yeah. gotta do that shit. Should we, I you, wanted to be that nigga. You can always do that nigga. I, Sway in the morning type low shit. Low key, I'll be, I'll be afraid. in the morning type I'll shit. be afraid to ask niggas to rap because a lot of niggas be like, I told you earlier, I, I don't, don't, don't want to do it. Like, I did it on purpose. Like I know, I, and the whole time I'm like, I'm challenge like, me. I'm gonna like hit this nigga like, dog, this rap some shit. Come cause. on, bro. Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna spit no riddance. We we can we can. I might spit some riddance. We can always put. It's always got instrumental nigga on 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 deck for for. Niggas, dog. Bro, come on, you mean one? You know what I'm saying? Me too. I don't give a fuck. And then you, yeah, I, I type of beat. No matter. 
Is it loud enough? Or connected? Oh, he got an arc. See, he came prepared. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. So people can hear this shit? Let me, let me hear it. I got here. Oh, and then he got this headphone. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, look at the headphones. Things out here. Oh, yeah. You got it. Can I hear it here? It's coming as soon as we plug it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, you want me to start over? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I want to hear that. Wait, I plugged in. I'm going to just like... Just plug it in. What's up? I, I think I can hear... Hold up. I'm trying to make sure I, I'm close enough. Cause the there you go. yeah, I can hear it. I can hear it. It's low though. Okay. Can you turn it up a little bit. Yeah. No, I don't know what he got. Some. It's a little instrumental and shit. Hey. Turn up some more. Ooh, and it's a little sketch. Uh. Yeah. Psycho. Yeah. Ooh. Uh. 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 Summertime, we alive. I'm so surprised by the lies I see. The deceit is despising me. I hate the world that I seem to be in. Psych, nah. But I have my reasons. Smoke all my weed. Uh, peak chains like seasons. Fuck it. I need money. Driving my mama bucket. Life's lovely. Right. Sunny day. Smoking my lemon haze. Been so uh, amazed from the shit I say on the daily. Fuck you, pay me, you hating. I wish this bitch was faster though. Acting though, smack a hoe. If she talking out her mouth, for real, yo, I never gave a fuck about any hating nigga who just talking about anything I speak on. We strong, hell yeah, we on the top. Stop the bullshit. Off of the noggin, need a full clip. Pull the bitch and that anybody talking that bullshit. I mean, call me back if you bout to party. Fuck you and your motherfucking shorty. I need a Bugatti. I swear, I need a Bugatti. I wish it was faster though. <laughs> it's straight though. Like, I was, I was oh, trying oh, to. I'll go. Oh, 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 Get back to the old school shit. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, bro, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Okay, you see, really did put some old school shit though. Okay. Uh. 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 Yo. Yo. Uh. I really hate you niggas It's like JK, I ain't a hateful nigga But like sharp and pencil, see I break you nigga I didn't gave you a chance, be thankful nigga Yeah, look, see I'm a beast and you know that See I was raised with the east, with a hoes at See, uh, coming from the street uh, Damn! <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay, fuck it. Trying to get a lots of money. Aw, oh, man, life is so fucking shady, maybe. Uh, smoking on them hazy blazing till I can't even wake up. Eyes red like fucking Satan. Cause I smoke way too fucking much. Don't talk to me. And I'ma knock you out. And it's obvious that I'm that nigga who be talking lots of shit. Came from the motherfucking east side. Repping up. Uh, 3139 streets about to be talking about the kid young now please relax bitch get on my dick you don't even know the boy i destroy any rapper most of these niggas swear to god they be actors dog man oh my goodness why you pushing my buttons dd don't try me dexter we used to ride a bone when i was heading to pick mick michaels and i don't really give a shit if you try me you get body that's obvious no probably uh, i've been in the sky since i was about six why these whack rap niggas talking shit i almost fucked up but i got this bitch yeah yeah please get off of my dick oh my goodness man i'm about to do it prove it I ain't gotta do that, stupid courage. Call that boy Eustace. These niggas pussy. Uh, why I had to do it like that? <laughs> <laughs> that's dope, dog. Oh, yeah, that's on, dog. Hey, and it was, it was a real motherfucking uh, freestyle and shit, dog. Hey, I was going to ask you, God. I was going to ask you, but then I'm like, niggas be like, you know what? I'm a rapper because we had some rappers on this bitch. I ain't going to name no names. And they was like, say they were some spitters. And as soon as you say, yo, you want freestyle? No, nah, I'm cool. Cut that shit out. <laughs> But that's what I was saying, bro. Come on, yeah. man. Niggas rap rap. So bro. now, when you a rap nigga, that's what we gotta do it now. Niggas rap rap. Put we a nigga on blast. The next nigga come here, you say you rap, bro. Play a beat. Yo, <laughs> dare you? And, and then shout me out, cause I'll be like, I'm in the comments. Like, <laughs> spit that shit, bro. Hell yeah, you hell know? yeah, man. What well, shit, man? Like I say, I appreciate you coming on, dog. Yes, sir, thank you. Got Nappy Devi yeah, on man. this thank bitch. You, he spelled freestyle, nigga. Not written. It was a freestyle, cause some man. niggas can't do it. Man, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was jabbing for a minute. I'm like, let me catch it. Let me catch it. You found it. That's why you said speed up, like let me speed up a little bit, cause I, cause I don't want to. 
I ain't, the slow vibes, I yeah. feel like I was going to get emotional. I don't want to yeah. get emotional. I want to <laughs> okay. talk some shit. Hell yeah, talk some shit. Hell yeah for sure, some man. Shit. Appreciate you coming on this motherfucker, man. Shout out to everybody, you episode 63. Going. You got my nerves going. Hell yeah. Nigga. <laughs> my head a little shaky. I had to show up, bro. I'm like, wait a minute. I can't stumble on this bitch. My nerves are <laughs> a little shaky in this motherfucker. Shout out motherfucking couch, man. Nappy Derby. Man. Motherfucker. Shook good night in the background, man. It's your boy, Shout man. Peace. Peace.